loosening up my cords a bit too much. Here we go. All right. There we go. Okay, I had my cords tangled. Okay, here we are with another Xbox Game Pass live stream. Um, yeah, so my, uh, my thoughts on the service are kind of conflicted. keep forgetting about the Xbox Live Arcade. My thoughts on the service are uh, somewhat conflicted because, uh, well, the service itself is fine. Like, I like the price point. I like the, uh, I like the variety. I like the, uh, the number of games available. I, I like the way it works. Uh, the issue I'm having uh, right now is that, like, basically all the games on the service that I've played are garbage, and those that aren't are just easily affordable. So there's there's really no point. I feel like, unless you're like me and just want to play a bunch of bullshit just for the sake of playing a bunch of bullshit. So, uh, yeah, this is a good example. Uh, a game that exists that uh, that you can play right now, but. Uh, one that I wouldn't have bought, fucking Power Rangers, the fighting game, which is actually surprisingly entertaining if you're a if you're a fan of the brand like I was. I, I say was because like I still like it obviously, but I, I can't keep up with this shit. I really can't. And, and it's a kid show anyway. It's a really good kid show, but it's just uh, I, I just can't keep up with it. And you know it is what it is. Um, I have my fond memories of it, but I've I've moved on, which is not a bad thing, but. Like, what, what are the fuck Power Rangers doing outside of, like, the fucking show? Because, like, I, I, I've been playing this game, and I'm just, like, I'm baffled by, like, the portrayal of, like, fucking Trainee. Like, I don't know why, why like, they have, like, mass, like, I don't know. Like, they made really weird decisions with this. Uh, but I really, really enjoy it. Um, like, I, again, I think it could have been a lot better, right? Like, but I, I think the big problem with it is, like, mostly the budget. Like, uh, actually playing it... Like, the mechanics are fine. Like, they're not great, but it's, like, it's perfectly serviceable. There's nothing terrible about them. And, um... It's fun seeing a lot of your favorite characters. Uh, a lot of your favorite characters. Like, uh... Uh, yeah, Jen is here. Like, I'm playing as Jen. Uh, you know, my all-time favorite Power Ranger, actually. Uh, my, my all-time favorite Pink Ranger, I should say. Definitely my favorite Pink Ranger. I'm not sure if I would say she's my all-time favorite Ranger. All around. Actually, I do need to watch Time Force again, because it has been years. Time Force was, like, my favorite series back in the day. I, I believe it's the only one I actually, uh, I watched as it aired, or around the time as it aired. So, like, I, I'm very, very partial to it, and I, I just have not watched it since then. And, uh, like, I've never seen the ending to, like, Lost Galaxy, or, uh, I don't believe, like, Speed Rescue, which I also liked. Um, or in Space, which is supposedly phenomenal. Like, it's definitely something I want to do before I die, to, like, go back and, uh, watch all these, uh, to watch at least the ones I grew up with. I don't think I'll be able to keep up with, like, the newer ones, but... Not that they're bad, mind you, just... I, I just don't have time. But yeah, like, the fact that they're doing stuff like this with the brand, uh, gives me really... Gives me a lot of optimism for the future, because the brand is, uh, certainly very popular. It, it definitely has, uh, stood the test of time. It's still very, very relevant. Uh, oops, here we go. Shit. Like, I think the issue is that, like, it keeps, like, changing owners all the time. Like, I'm always hearing about, like, somebody somebody buying it. Like, I, I don't know. Why, why don't I just... I mean, it's not going anywhere, obviously, because it's so, like, easily, like, adaptable to the times. Like, it, it's, uh... But... Oof. Like, I don't even know what the current run is called. That, that's how, like, out of touch I am with the brand. And this seems to be made for, like, older fans anyway, but... All right. I don't know, but that's the thing about this, though. Like, it feels like a pretty good, like, entry-level fighting game. Like, it's not super complex or anything, but it's it's Power Rangers. It's a lot better than the shit, um... Like you said, like, really budget. I'm not sure who made this. Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up, but... Capcom, right? I, I'm gonna say it was Capcom, which is very surprising, but... So I have a, I have not been a... The game actually does feel like it put a lot of effort into uh, 
to making like a cohesive like story with like all these characters like interacting to, to the, for the most part like it's not like super great but like honestly like i think it's a lot better than something like uh i don't want to say mortal kombat 10 well <laughs> not like a full production like mortal kombat but like the typical japanese like story mode like i uh i think i'm enjoying this like as uh as budget as it is a lot more than something like tekken which is just awful and like completely unplayable for me like I, I can't, even, I couldn't even finish the story mode back, and I hated it so much. Like most, like fight Japanese fighting game lore is like really, really dumb. Like, I, I think there are exceptions. I think I like the ones in uh, Dead or Alive. Well, pfft. no, uh, no, maybe it's not the right thing to say. Not Dead or Alive. Uh, yeah, what is a good Japanese fighting game? Like whenever I think of like a good fighting game story, I always go to like Mortal Kombat, which has always been great with like the characterizations and like. Um, the escalation of the plots and like uh, the the storylines of the individual characters, <laughs> like like Japanese fighting games are so static they never f feel like they change. We're not here to hurt you. We want to stop breaking. I don't get why she's in that giant armor. All right. It's the power of snow. Okay, so you just randomly just. So the game's like really the game's a lot better than I thought it would be, honestly. Like I when people said it was good, I thought they were bullshitting, but uh I mean I, I can see I can see like its budget, but if you're a fan of the brand, you're you're gonna have fun with it, I think. Uh I certainly am. Of course I don't know any of the characters past like SPD, but shit. Like SPD is like seriously the last series I ever watched. I apparently like I looked it up and apparently like I stopped watching it like like, on, like, the second to last episode or some shit, so I never got the conclusion to FPD, which pisses me off, because I think I was really invested in it, but, like, I was doing so much shit right back then, it's like, uh, couldn't watch my fucking show. And then, like, I, I, I couldn't get into Mystic Force, so it's like... I don't think I watched Mystic Force much at all. I think I watched, like, the first episode, and then I was like, okay, I think I'm, I think I'm done with this. And then Operation Overdrive was so dumb, I was like, okay, I guess I hate power But then, like, then I saw, like, I don't know, uh, The Wonderful 101 was what got me back into it, I think. Uh, made me realize I am a big fan. Which is weird, because I've never gotten around. Well, to be fair, when the movie came out, went out and watched that, that was great. Uh, went out and watched a lot of the first season, uh, that was great. I still need to go back and finish it, but... Shit. I think it's one of the nice things about uh about mobile games is that like high quality like low budget games like this have suddenly become viable. I believe this was supposed to be a mobile game and then they just ported it to consoles and then it became surprisingly popular so I mean, I wish the characters interacted more, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> this is how I've been playing it recently, is just uh, playing through a segment uh, and then dropping it and playing something else. But I have been coming back to it, which is more than I can say for, you know, the No Man's Sky. The process will not be easy, nor will it be pleasant. Yes, I've heard your warnings, Finster 5. But the risk is worth the reward. My lord, Finster is back with the I fuck? I look around and I see but a handful of the morphers we brought back for you. Ah, uh, Kimberly has a well, you see, evil Kim has like a terrible haircut. This is the morphin grid fuck. in a slightly different way. For our purposes, we will only require one morpher per team. In fact, utilizing any more will become incredibly unstable. That would have been good to know before my forces risk their lives targeting entire teams. Enough. Fewer morphers means fewer rangers to oppose us. I'm Did ready to actually to get him to do the voice. Take me one step closer to my destiny. I think yes. it is. I think it is him, which is hilarious. He's still doing. He's gonna be doing voiceover roles forever. Like ah. shit. My lord. Ah, remarkable. I can feel the strength coursing through me. Glorious. Simply glorious. I fucking love Tommy. How long Tommy until Man. the He's next so transfer? A day at most. In the meantime, there is a situation in Corinth that requires your attention, my lord. 
the dragon cannons are on the verge of being compromised. Then perhaps it's time for more specific reinforcements. Keep targeting ranger teams. Like, this is a good license all the game. Like, you can. Cheap, it's low budget. Our future it, depends on it's, it. Uh, it's appealing to me as a fan. Of course, my lord. Right. I will do all that is required. You have my word. Like I said, it's not great, but it doesn't really need to be. You know what I mean? All right, I think I'm ready to play something else, though. Uh, let's wait, wait. Oh, here's Cat. Yes, my lord. How many times are we gonna fight these ma these sentries? Like, what the what the fuck is with that? Anyway, yeah, it does get kind of repetitive. But honestly, like, I am being legit here. Uh, I am enjoying this a lot more than I did Soul Calibur VI. So that's not just. Wait, what's loading now? Oh, Kingdom Hearts two. All right. Um, yeah, what else do I have here? Uh, on Game Pass. Okay, I, I wanted to play Sea of Thieves. I have not played it yet, but uh, that was definitely on the agenda for today. I wanted to go ahead. Play Sea of Thieves and give you my live reactions to this uh, to this uh, Rareware game. Uh, this new entry from this beloved, from one of my, uh, from this uh, legendary video game company, Rareware, that put out such classics as uh, Grab by the Ghoulies and Cameo Elements of Power. <laughs> Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. So uh, I'm really happy. I'm really excited to see what this xbox exclusive developer uh is going to offer us but seriously though like rareware like these days like they, they they feel so salty that they're basically really only remembered for their nintendo exclusive era from like donkey kong country to Star Fox adventures like out anything outside of that demographic they they have no audience they really don't like when people are nostalgic for rare like wow i really love rareware it's because of nintendo Vault of the Ancients. Alright. I kind of watched The Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I didn't get around to watching it last night. And I'm so, so salty about that. Because I was so busy. But, uh, I'm not going to be able to get through the, the entire thing in a month, I don't think. Which is very frustrating. I kind of, like, get, get a schedule going for my things. Like, like usually when I have, like, a free moment, it's like, okay, time to stream. Time to, time to uh, play some Xbox Game Pass. But, no, uh... Oh, I probably should be charging my controller. Rare treasures? Oh, wow. Imagine how good this game would be if it was, like, developed, co-developed with Nintendo. Like, running on the Breath of the Wild engine. You know, you know what? Like, Rareware could have done Wind Waker, right? Like, imagine this, but with, like... Imagine Wind Waker, but with, like, a more in-depth, um, Controls. Or, like, ship mechanics. Like, Rareware could have made Wind Waker 2. Oh, uh, no, they're using the English spelling of things. Rumors with a U. Like, come on. Hidden a root under fearsome sky. A fortune calls to those that try. Well, this opening is uh, better than Grab by the Ghoulies. I'll give it that much. But to be fair, though, to be fair, though, like, Grab by the Ghoulies is, like, one of the worst pieces of shit I think I've ever played in my life. Like, I, I don't understand why so many people vehemently defend that game. Like, Star Fox Adventures is so much better. Like, I, I don't understand why people defend that. Um, Cameo 2, to a certain extent. I, I can understand, like, Cameo's appeal a bit better, though. I mean, not really, but... I mean, it's better than Grab by the Ghoulies. And then, like, Nuts and Bolts. That, that's just pure contrarianism. Like, trying to say Banjo Nuts and Bolts is good. Uh, the Virgin Alliance are seeking coin, a profit made by those that join. Alright, uh, so when are we getting to the game? No, The Witcher 3 is shit, like, for sure. Oh, yeah, Witcher 3 is so shit, it's available for free on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> and I haven't played it, like... Alright, uh, on your journey towards becoming a pirate legend, you'll be able to customize your chosen character with clothing... Oh, so we get to customize... Okay, let's hope this uh, character creator isn't nearly as terrible as uh, as the um, as the Soul Calibur 6 one. What is with these ugly-ass character designs? What the fuck is this? Okay. I hate all of them. Like, I guess this is... This is the only one I... I mean, I hate them all, but... I don't know. 
Oh, wait, was that a woman? I'm like, shit, wait a minute, I didn't want to play as a woman. Ah, oh, shit, I, I couldn't even... The, the character designs were so ugly, I couldn't tell whether it was a, a male or female. I thought that was just a skinny dude, but no, it's a woman. Shit. Now set sail on the maiden voyage to prepare yourself for life in the Sea of Thieves. Learn the ropes, hoist the scale, get ready for adventure. Isn't there, like, nothing to do in this game? But yeah, uh, Witcher 3, um... So wait, 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 do you need to have people playing with you? What, what, what's the deal? Alright. Alright, whatever. I, I guess I'm playing on myself. Uh, that's right, this is a multiplayer game. You have to play with other people. Just, ugh. Obnoxious. Obnoxious. Okay, so... We might as well, like, try it single player before we... Uh, Decide whether whether or not we need other players to have fun, or like we're, we're just like experiencing the game for the first time. Let's. Uh, yep. I keep getting sidetracked. Like I want to bring up like The Witcher Three and how much I hate it, but yeah, you know what? Like The Witcher Three does uh, does fit in with the typical Xbox Game Pass game pretty well. Like it's disposable, it's cheap, like it's overhyped to fuck, and uh, people can download it and play it for free on Xbox Game Pass. Like it, it really is like. Not that great of a game. Um, well, actually, I would say it's like terrible. Actually, I was I was really appalled at how much I didn't enjoy it on Switch. Uh, uh, hello. You look a little worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, got to level eight on Battletoads. Full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. Uh, okay. I just happen to have a banana on me. All right. Uh... Whoa, whoa! I didn't even peel it. I just raised it to my fist and yeah. my face and okay. Already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the sea of thieves. Really? Is that the Grand Line? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer. <laughs> and then I took an arrow to the knee. Okay. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger. Where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. I, I, now you've one last crossing to make. You want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. All right. Uh, let's see. Take the cutlass. This game doesn't even look that good. Like, look at this. Yeah, classic rare would have made that moment work. But this, look at this game. Like, look at these like colors. They're so like. I'm going to call them, like, washed out. Like, they don't feel organic. They feel like... Wait, wait. Where did he go? Oh, did I walk past him? Oh, here he is. Okay. I can't even talk about One Piece or Witcher 3 like I want to because I'm so busy learning the game. All right. Hand and the love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight. Up long lost treasures. Do you actually do this in this game? Raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. <laughs> so they have grog in the afterlife? Equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. Okay. I still a ghost shovel, alright. Here back in the day. The map will show you the way. Oh, no, he's speaking in Gordilda. All right. Quest received. Okay, so we're uh, digging up. Um... Press A to view your quests. Use your map to find the treasure marked with an X. Wait, but where the fuck am I? Okay, so it's on D1, but wait. Oh, 
on the beach probably. Uh, but which way is north? How do you find north in this game? Do I have a compass? Ah, here we go. Yep. Oh, look, it's shaped like the Hollow Knight. Look at the <laughs> look at those antlers. Oh, uh, okay. So I think it's Well, it'd be towards the end here, right? Yeah, you can see the boat on on the map, I think, for some reason. Uh for some, they thought to Apparently, you can uh Apparently, you can just swim through the water with your feet. You don't need your hands. All right. Uh... Yeah, I want to say it's like around here, but uh, I might be wrong about that. Wait, how do I switch my shovel? Wait. Okay, is it X? Fuck. Here it is. Uh... Was not it? Uh, what am I looking for? Ah, oh, wait, no, no, that's just a rock. So is it not actually marked? All right, so you have to look in the you have to look at the map. Use your map to find the treasure marked with an X. Uh, okay. Uh, well, it's still better than No Man's Sky, I'll, I'll give it that much. Like, what isn't better than No Man's Sky? Like, I have played, like, you know, some of the worst pieces of shit on Game Pass over the past couple of days, and I can't think of a single thing that's worse than No Man's Sky. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, could it be on the backside? Wait, hang on. Oh, okay, uh... I mean, I think it says a lot, considering I have a, uh, I do have a gaming PC, and I still, I still prefer Xbox. Um, especially now that, like, the Game Pass is a thing, there's, there's really no reason to continue uh, upgrading your PC. Like, no reason at all. Um, Xbox does the same thing better at a more affordable price. Uh, but anyway, uh... It has to be on this side, right? It's not the yeah, yeah. Unless I'm like on on on, on I'm on like the lower half. Am I overthinking this? Like, is there? Hey, does he give me any specific instructions? Maybe I could just show him the uh, the instructions. So I figured out how to like show people the map, but I can't. <laughs> I can't read it myself. I have no idea where I am. All right. Okay. Where is this? Where's your Where's your treasure? I guess we might as well go up this way and see. Uh, yeah, yeah, just as I thought. So it is over there. See, you can. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's kind of neat actually that you uh, can't see yourself on the map, so you actually have to like look at the geography and figure out where exactly you are. But all right, so it's on this side for sure. But I don't understand how these quadrants work. So this is uh, north. I mean, it looks like it's right next to the boat. But am I just misreading the map? The wrecked ship, I should say. Uh, the scullied... Sh <laughs> the scullied sound... Okay, here we go. Could it be under this shade? Surely it's on the beach. Oh. That looks promising. Hang on. Like, I would have thought there'd be some kind of marking or... No? Uh... <sighs> Let's see, all right, where's the map? Oh, did I find it? What the fuck? Wait. 
Why was it here? All right. Uh, okay, I just happened to just find it. Just I just happened to be standing on top of it. Okay, I had no idea how I found it, but okay. Don't tell me he didn't actually... The motherfucker didn't actually uh, bury any treasure. He just put this chest in there. It doesn't look like there's anything in this, but... All right, let's bring it back to him and see what he says. Here you go. Uh, what'd you put in there? Okay, here's the moment of truth. What's he opening? Oh, what? oh shit, what? The fuck? Wait. Okay, here we go. Flitlock received. Okay, so I have a gun. Alright, so I have a gun. Awesome. She'll serve you well out there. I don't know, unless I run into, like, Monkey D. Luffy. Bullets don't do shit to him. Alright. Equipment received. Alright. Uh, can I go? Can we play the game now? Alright. Select any item. Okay, so compass. Lantern. I think it's a drill? Wait, what the fuck is this? No, it's a telescope. Okay. There. Now you look like a true pirate. RR. Whoa, if I was a pirate, I would be playing on PC. Whoa, don't don't throw labels on me, buddy. Uh okay. Well now. I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. Alright. What is this? The shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds. Thank you, Master. I will uh, go ahead and do that. Setting sail for adventure. All right. I kind of love how this game is basic, has basically been... Wait. Oh, whoops. The fuck? Wait, no, get up. Idiot. All right. I love how this game has basically been completely forgotten. It was uh, really heavily hyped up, like, one one year. <laughs> one E3. And, like, people, like, were uh, seriously thinking it would be the return of Rare. Or, or acting like it at any, at any rate. And now, it, it's like... Oof. Now it's basically been forgotten. Like, uh, I know Rareware occasionally makes a big deal about the updates they make to the game, but uh, I think I don't think anybody actually plays this. Wait, sail length? Wait, what, what am I doing? I need markers. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Do I go up here, or...? No? Wait. Use the ropes to pull the mast up. Uh, oh, these ropes? I see. I thought you had to, like, set up a rope. I was just like, wait a minute. Wait, what do I, what do I trigger? Oh, here we go. Where is it going? Why is it not pulling? All right, raise the mast high.
you know what? Like, I think, um, I think it's safe to say, like, Assassin's Creed 4 is probably a better pirate game than this. Like, I, I, I can't stand Assassin's Creed, but, like, the one thing that 4 really, really nailed was the whole, like, pirate aspect. Like, actually, like, sailing and, like, doing shit like that, that was awesome. But, like, the, the combat and, like, the general Assassin's Creed nature, like, that was just pure shit. Pure, pure shit. Actually, uh, did I talk about like, the whole, like, Michael Ansel thing? With, like, the, the Ubisoft and, like, not being able to work on Beyond Good and Evil 2? So, so get this. Like, the reason that Ansel left Ubisoft, like, one of the reasons, anyway, is that he was upset that, like, the developers working on his game couldn't just, like... <laughs> The developers working on the game were upset that they couldn't just rehash assets they w the way they would with like an Assassin's Creed game. So that that's uh, that's the reality, like where we are, where Ubisoft is in right now. They're just entirely they're entirely reliant on on like reusing assets in like their historical fiction game. Like they can't do anything, they can't do anything creative. They can't like make anything new. Like all right. They, they reuse the shit out of their assets. Oh, wait, what? What Do I need... So yeah, like, it really does feel like a lot of these major third parties, um, and companies like Rareware, they have no, uh, they have no idea how to make video games. They really don't. Um, it's like the bucket. Scoop up water. What water? Oh! Wait, what? Are you fucking serious? Like, there was... You can scoop up that much water with... Okay, whatever. I, I, I get it. It's a video game. But... Is that all of it? Wait, how do I raise the anchor? This thing? Oh, here we go. I actually had no idea what a cap stain was. I was like, wait a minute. What? I'm not, a, I'm not much of a pirate enthusiast. Lower anchor, uh... Press X on a sail length rope at the back of the... Like this one? Oh, here we go. No, that's how you move the sail, but... How do you lower it? Is it the other one? Wait. There we go. All right. Oh, oh no, we're gonna wreck. Shit. No, 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 shit. Oof. Okay, I, I had one job and I already fucked it up. So it's more of a sim than anything, right? Uh. All right, so here we are, like a pirate. Well, I would say Nintendo already has Game Pass. They have, like, Nintendo Switch Online. Like, it just has a different focus. Like, it's focusing more on, like, classic content that, content that nobody is buying anymore. Like, you can still buy the games. Like, here's the thing about Game Pass. Here's, the here's like, the big boat anchor around it, I think. It, it's really going to prevent games from really having legs ever again. Because, like, everyone's basically just going to wait for the game to be on Game Pass. Like, nobody's going to want to buy it. Uh... So I think Nintendo's method is actually superior. So where am I supposed to be going? 
I actually have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. That's kind of the interesting thing about this. Like, I have no idea what this game is about or what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just sailing this boat. I mean, there could be worse games, I guess. I mean, I guess I haven't, like, gotten to the core gameplay yet. This game is, uh, at the very least, better than No Man's Sky. Uh, I can't reiterate that enough. Like, No Man's Sky is just pure shit. I would never have bought this for good reason, but... But yeah, the fact that it's on Game Pass uh, gives me the opportunity to try it and talk about it at length. Also. I kind of love how this water physics is nowhere near as good as what Nintendo was doing in the 90s with rave r wave rays. Like, shit. It took, like, Rareware until 20... Uh, when did this come out? 16? Is this a 2016 game? Like, when did this come out? 2016, 2017? When did this come out? Does anybody know? I want to say, like, 20... Like, I guess I can check real quick. Uh, oops, hang on. No, it's still going? Wait, what the fuck? It doesn't pause? Wait, why the fuck not? Alright, anyway. Uh... No, is it railroading me down this uh, very narrow corridor? Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's a Final Fantasy XIII clone. Oh, okay. I don't know, is the game fun to play with friends? Because, like, that's one of the things I've heard, is that, like, this is primarily a multiplayer game. Like, is does it have single-player content? I don't, I don't think so. <sighs> uh, sea monster! Okay. <laughs> wow, it's, uh... I've already seen more sea monsters in this game than I've ever seen in Wind Waker. No, just kidding. Uh, I don't know, is it a set piece or is this like an actual enemy? Oh, here he comes! Oh, shit. No, it disappeared. Aw, oh, man, it... Building up to nothing. Aw. Oh. What good is a sea monster if you don't fight it? Like, shit. Alright. It was just there to, like, startle me? Alright. Twenty... Really? Two years ago? Well, two and a half years ago. It feels like it came out forever ago, but anyway. Uh, I mean, I guess it died really, really quickly after launch, so... You set sail for the first time. Why am I only just now getting this uh, achievement? Oh, hey, another pirate ship. Oh, shit. I gotta... I need a cannonball. Wait, shit. All right. Uh... That's a harpoon. I'm nowhere near him. I don't have enough people here. Like... How are you supposed to do this with one person? Oh, wait, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I don't know, be innovative? Yeah, do you need multiple players for this? Because I have... I mean, surely it shouldn't... It shouldn't be impossible with one player. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. This is scripted as fuck, but it's, uh, it's a little bit different than what I've seen. Like, I don't know. Like, Rare, I don't think Rareware has ever been generic. The issue is that, like, their creativity just hasn't been, you know, well executed, I think, is their main problem. Like, Grab by the Ghoulies uh, was a cool concept. Uh, this is a cool concept. Uh, Banjo Nuts and Bolts was not. Uh, Viva Pinata was. Like, Cambia was a cool concept. Like, they could have worked, right? But they just haven't for years. I, I think it's just mostly just the games uh, just aren't well made. The ideas, I suppose, are there, but... So they, they delayed it, and it was and it was still shit? Wow, that's kind of that's remarkable.
Yeah, I don't... I want to get to, like, an actual combat section, right? Oh, wait. Commendation unlocked. Onto the horizon. Alright. Uh, you completed the maiden voyage. Oh, awesome. So, wait. I, I didn't even do anything. Like, I just sailed for a while. Like, ah. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it's kind of boring. Oh, look at that skull-shaped cloud. That's awesome. Uh... It's kind of boring, but, like, uh, in a way that kind of makes me feel like, I don't know, it could have been good. I'm not, like, inclined to shit all over it the way I did, like, No Man's Sky, like, right out of the gate. I mean, there was a certain aspect I liked, like, the bit with the map, like, fixing the ship, like, it, it made me think that, like, you know, maybe the developers were onto something with this, but... I don't know, like, if, if the content isn't there, like, I, what did we actually do in that entire segment? Like, that took me, like, what, like, half an hour to get through? 20 minutes, maybe? Uh, like, it, it just wasn't all that entertaining. Oops. But. Alright, so... Uh, not a fan of uh, Sea of Thieves. I mean, I, that's one of the problems with, like, modern games today. Like, they come and go so quickly that people don't really talk about how badly they are. Like, a lot of people, like, came out like, with No Man's Sky, right, this is a good example, like, said it was trash right away, and um, you immediately had a bunch of shills, like, dispute that. The shills, who would go on to, like, continue to defend and damage control the game for years afterward, right? That's ridiculous. Um, and I think Sea of Thieves kind of had a similar problem. Maybe not to, like, the same extreme extent, but, like, the people who like this game, like, must really, really like it. I, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, uh, personally, I am not impressed. Personally, I think it's a uh, shit. And it's load time. This is a this is a freakishly long load time. Holy shit! Oh, speaking. Of load times. <laughs> Remember when PS5 fans were talking all this shit about, like, uh, PS5 load times being, like, otherworldly and, like, it would completely end load times forever? Bullshit. Uh, that was quite the celebration when you arrived. I'm not surprised you don't remember. Oh, come on! The Indian trading company. I love how this says the pirate code. <laughs> Their guidelines more than actual rules. Uh, all right. Ooh, I don't get why this game is so fucking ugly. Like, rare, rare... Like, I legit think Conquer looks better than this. Like, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I think Conquer's bad for a day. On N64, it looks better than this. Like, I think it has, like, better animations. I think the character models look better. I'd say the voice acting is better, too. Uh, and, of course, the gameplay is better. We're at the point where, like, N64 games look a lot better than, like, uh, the stylistic shit we see on, like, modern consoles. Uh, the Pirate Code. Article 1, the sea calls to us all. Article 2, the sea unites us as one community. Article 3, disputes are settled upon the waves. Article 4, all crewmates are equal. Fuck, this is sounding awfully communistic. Article 5, the crew bond is sacred. Article 6, respect new pirates and their voyage ahead. Article 7, those who cheat shall be punished. Uh, okay. What's on the 
Go wherever the wind carries you. Uh, sure, whatever, bitch. Uh, can I just... <sighs> yeah, I need to get some tea. I'm pretty thirsty. Uh... So, uh, what am I... So, yeah, I'm inclined to, to say that I think, like, Pirates... Uh, Assassin's Creed 4 is probably a better pirate game than this. Like, I like the sailing a lot more. It, it does, like, a better job with, like, the single-player aspect. Uh, of course, I haven't done anything in this game yet, uh... But honestly, like, at this point, I'm kind of inclined not to continue. I'm already not enjoying it. Uh, oh, all right. So what should I play next, guys? Uh, I think I should go ahead and... I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll come back and play this again, but... Um, yeah, I'd like to do at least one quest. I would like to, like, actually do the... Uh, does it save automatically? But how do I how do I end the how do I end the game? It should, right? Yeah, I think I'll just end the game and play something else. Yeah, I probably won't uninstall it yet. I think I do want to go back and uh, to play it for real, but uh, I don't know. I'm already not all that impressed. Uh, let's see, Kingdom Hearts two two point eight. Uh, was that the first one that downloaded? Holy crap! So, like, for some reason, like, all of the Kingdom Hearts games are on here. Like, 2.8. Um, like, I went ahead and got the uh, HD 1.5 on this. So, uh, I'll be able to stream this. I'll be able to stream Kingdom Hearts on here. Uh, let's try The Outer Wilds. I have no idea what this is. showed off this E3? Was it this E3 or was it... No, no, there was no E3. The one before that. <laughs> no. They showed up a new uh, Rareware IP, right? The one with like the reincarnation or some shit. Yeah, with the uh, Xbox Game Pass, I should be able to play that, so I won't have to pay for it. So That should be exciting. Oops. Alright. Uh... Okay, who the fuck ever heard of a load screen? I I've seen so much weird bullshit since I started this thing. Like... Alright. Yeah, maybe I should go ahead and play Resident Evil 7, because that's... Let's be real here, that's the only game I like. Like, the only game I'll ever like is Resident Evil 7. X, wake up. What? what? Okay, uh... I think I hate it already. I it just, I'm just like, wait, what? What the fuck is this shit? All right, jump. Oh no, you press the A button to jump. I, I never would have figured that out. These fucking aliens. Oops. Fuck was that? Okay. Uh, 
Yep, we're going up to space. Uh, okay. What's the what's the purpose of this? I, I I'm just baffled by this. Like what? Huh? I, I'm just. What is this game? All right. Uh. Yeah, I think I hate it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and I have no idea. I don't. I don't think I care. Uh, let's see, uninstall. Like, there's certain games. Like, well, what's the point in even talking about them? Like, it was just okay. You're on a planet with aliens and you're going to space. Who cares? Like, okay. Oh, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, let's play. Let's let's do it. Let's play a good game. Let's play a good game. Um, we've done too much bullshit. We've uh, we've. Uh, <laughs> We've had too much. We've had too many uh, disasters. Let's play some uh, something good. <sighs> Let's play some Xbox 360. Uh. Skip it and go to like Bubble Goop Swamps because I can. Uh... Alright. So I'm loving the game so far. Uh, this is definitely one of those games I, I want to be playing like somewhat regularly, like once a year or so. Uh, one of my all time favorites. Um... Like, honestly, like. <laughs> I, I'm uh, really happy with the Xbox version of this game. I, I, I keep saying this, but like fixing <laughs> fixing the collecting issues in the original is like a godsend. Like that was probably one of the big reasons I didn't like replaying the original because uh, because of how like when you die you have to collect or leave the area you have to collect like all the notes again, which is just bullshit. But like in this version you only have to collect them once, so that's that's really nice. So it's a lot easier to do. It's a lot less bullshit. Uh, Clanker's Cavern is not my favorite level, but... This is not my favorite area. I'm not sure what my favorite area would be. I'm not a fan of this or Click Clack Woods. Um, Bubble Goop Swamp is fine. Uh, Frizzy Peak is probably my favorite, actually. Love, love, love Frizzy Peak. Uh, how do I get up? Oh, here... Going up here this way for the 
something else. I love like the Jigzoe triple triple jab so much. It's like one of my favorite moves ever. Yeah, good ability feathers. Yeah, and like Donkey Kong 64, you can't collect things until you have the power up, but in this one, you can. Got him. Okay, drain. Oh, no, it's not a drain. It's uh, raising the water. Okay. Which is completely different than draining. Uh. Oh, he's a ginger. I probably could have gone the other way. Uh, there's so many ways in and out of this thing, but... Alright, uh, first of all, let's get the other puzzle piece. So do you even need to do the other one, the one on the other side? Alright. It doesn't feel like you do, but alright. Here we go. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go to the side first, and then go ahead and go further in. This will probably just go outside. Maybe I should just wait. I'll, I'll just come out this way. Oh, can I not jump that out? Yeah, do you fly through there? I think you do. You know, this is the least fun flying thing. Like, usually the flying in this game is, like, phenomenal, but in this area, it's like, okay, what's the point? Like, just just have a spring, you fuck. All right. Wait, was there something up there? Well, all right. Yeah, 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 alright. <sighs> Absolute boss. Look at this, alright. Alright, so it's four, uh, six more to go. Four more to go. Right. Did I really just miss that? All right. Uh, what's my next? Okay, let's. I think it's everything in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and leave. Two o'clock. All right. That's a peeps. All right. 
I'm having a lot more fun playing this again than I am like playing most games on uh, Xbox Game Pass. I'm not gonna lie. Other than maybe Resident Evil 7, I can't think of a single game. I, I'm really enjoying a Game Pass at the moment at all. To be fair, though, I deliberately like... Uh, it's taking a while to download the games I actually wanted to play, like Yakuza. So... Actually, I think I think Kwame is available now, so I could probably just play Kwame. up here. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Is this the one with the... Okay. I remember now. This is the weird one. Oh. Get up there, you idiot. Alright. Okay, there's the one where you go on the tail. How do you open this thing? Wait. Oh, <laughs> what? What? You just hit it? What? Okay. Like, here I was thinking that like you had to push a switch or something. I'm just like, okay, maybe I can burst it open, and then it just slides, like, what? Alright, uh. Okay, so I think I got everything on the surface. Uh, let's go down. <gasps> Explore the murky depths. Alright. How many gingos did I get? Two? Yeah, I think there's, uh, I think they're all just hiding around the, uh, the clanker there. There might be one back here, but I doubt it. Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. Uh, oops, shit. This game isn't exactly known for its uh, stellar enemy encounters. That's definitely one of the things I hold against it, is that like the game is really, really simplistic, like, combat-wise. Honestly, that's part of the reason why I think it's, like, such a good kids game, because, like, you don't really need to fight a whole lot. Like, kids can just run around and have fun, and uh, I think it's really important. Oops. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. Beaten Snippet Mutants Are We. Yours is Pride. Oh great, now I can't even jump up here. Banjo, make the jump. Alright. Duh, duh, duh. Alright, that's six jigsaw pieces. Alright. Um, so now I'm missing the Jinjos and three more. So, uh... I have no idea where the Jinjos are, but... I guess we have a lot, a lot of space to explore, though. Like I said, like, I'm just not a fan of, like, these underwater levels. Like, this and Rusty Bucket Bay are not, not my, uh, my favorite, for sure. Like, Rusty Bucket Bay is probably worse than this, actually. Like, because that, that's always the one that, like, people point out when, like, talking about how bad... <laughs> talking about, like, obnoxious... Obnoxious, uh, Banjo-Kazooie levels. Yep, here's one. Yep. Well, it's just a Jinjo, but I don't know. That'll give it... We'll get a jigsaw with the next two. There we go. Shit, that's uh. Yeah, this game is just generally really fun to play. Like, generally, it's it's a lot of fun. Like, it's not really all that. Uh, it's really not that not all that difficult, but it's very memorable and very creative. Uh, it sticks out from the crowd even today. I would say. I like, just compare this to uh, to Tui. I mean, not Tui. Uh, 
ukulele, like, difference in quality is just staggering. Oops. Oh, wait, we already went down here. Yeah, we gotta watch out for that. Like, again, like, a lot of times, like, in this level, it's just swimming around. It's just uh, kind of boring. This is the wait. This is the way out, right? Surely, yeah, it is. Yeah, you, you can tell which way is which uh, by the way Clanker is facing, because he always faces towards the door. So uh, it's useful to keep that in mind. All right. Now, where are the others? I don't remember where the others are. Oh, I remember where uh, one is. A weird one. Oops. Do it. Okay, got one. So I know know where another one is. Uh, we'll probably find a Jinjo on the on the floor here, but I don't know where the other where the next Jinjo is, or the last Jinjo is, I should say. Maybe near the start of the level. I mean, I guess we don't have to 100 percent this right away, but. Breath of the Wild isn't available on PC. I don't think I need to remind you of this, but uh, it's a Nintendo exclusive. So yeah, you're gonna need a Switch. Or it'll be a much better investment than a PC. Is it? I, oh, here it is. Right. Okay, so what you're supposed to do... Okay, if I'm remembering correctly... Uh, okay. Should have gone the other way. Okay, I can hear the Jinjo. Yep, here he goes. Knew it. Damn, like it's that's such a weird thing. Like, how would you ever figure that out? Okay, so I have one Jinjo to go. Uh, oops. Oh, here we go. Probably another one. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that's not bad. I remember those rings being almost impossible to find my first playthrough, but now I'm, like, finding them left and right. To be fair, I know the game a bit better now, so that's probably just it. But I don't remember it being there. Just like I don't remember how where all the uh, all the Jinjos are. Here we go. Let's get the musical notes, since we're up here. Yeah, I don't... Of course I don't remember where all the musical notes are. I don't remember where all the Jigis are. Here we go. Got him. All right, let's go down. Is there no Jinji? Where is the Jinjo? All right. Where, where is he? All right. There's nothing down here. All right. I thought for sure. Okay. In here, maybe? Uh, here we go. I'm going to drown down here, aren't I? <laughs> Imagine if, like, I got the last Jinjo and I died before I could uh, collect the Jiggy. All right. Uh, go, 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 go. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, Banjo. All right, good for you. We did it. All right. Where's the last Jinjo? Uh, I think I got the one down here. 
It feels like I've been everywhere. I, I haven't... I can't think of anywhere I haven't been. Uh... Oh, the gay marriage thing? Yeah, I noticed a lot of people respond to that. Um, because it's wrong, that's really all there is to it. Like, if you, uh, if you've spent as much time around homosexuals as I have, you, you start to see through their narratives. Um, it's not really a real thing. Like, they really do just need... Oh, here we go, this is it. I remember now. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I think there's the last jiggies up here, and then... So, yeah, if you're uh, if you're around, like, homosexuals a lot, you start to see through, like, their, uh, their sort of mindset, their worldview. Um, like, uh, for example, like, this is probably a really good example. Uh, how exactly has the gay agenda changed in the past couple of years? We went from, like, tolerance... Uh, you have to tolerate homosexuals' existence. Uh, we, then we went to acceptance, and then we went to, like, celebration. Like, you have to, like, worship the fact that, like, homosexuals exist. You can't, like, question it. You can't, like, uh, you can't argue against it. You're not allowed to. Uh, you get, people get very, very uppity when you do that. Um, the reality is that, like, uh, there's nothing natural about homosexuality. It is very much, like, an artificial thing. Like, you have, like, a bunch of broken people essentially doing this uh, degenerate act to try and, like, make themselves feel more alive when really they just, uh... Really, they just live very, very unfulfilling, uh... very shallow lives, uh... I should say. Mm. So, yeah, the marriage thing, like, it's not about, like, actually... It's not an actual cause. Like, the actual reasoning for it is, like, just to devalue, like, tradition... Like, actual real uh, male-female marriages. Like, to try and present it as, like, gayness as being the same as that when it really isn't. Oops. Like, I hope I'm making sense. Like, again, I don't really, uh... Like, you really shouldn't need to, like, write a thesis on why gay gayness is bad. I, I think that's the, the main problem that people are having right now is that, like, um, anyone who's, like, just be... Anyone who's just against gay marriage, they're, they're expected to just being it. They're expected to just be able to talk about like. Uh, like all the all the negative aspects of it. But really, it's just like it's not right is really good enough. Uh, and again, I, I think part of the reason people get so angry when you uh, when you say that is like because they kind of know it's true. They kind of know it's bullshit. Uh, but they kind of, they, they kind of revolve their entire lives around it, so. Oof. So yeah, I'm hoping that within our lifetimes, we'll, uh, uh gay marriage will be illegalized again. Well, pfft, illegal, <laughs> illegalized is kind of the, uh, the criminalized, I don't know. Uh, what's the way to put it? Like, just not a thing? Well, it's not really a thing now, honestly, like. Unless, like, uh, unless these people are activists, like, actively trying to, like, subvert, like, Western values, like, they don't, it's, it's not a real thing. Well, Western values is not the same, uh, traditional values, I should say. Like, unless these people are, like, deliberately, like, sub trying to subvert something, like, there's no real interest in it. Like, it, it's, uh, like, unless they're pushing some kind of agenda, like, uh, legalizing pedophilia. And I think that's the main reason you should be against uh, homosexuality, by the way, is that, like, uh, no matter what you do, these people are always going to be, want to become more and more extreme, because it's not about, like, actually being with someone they care about. It's about, it's about, like, being increasingly, increasingly degenerate and doing more and more depraved things. Uh, and again, the end game has always been to uh, legalize pedophilia, so... Um, keep an eye out for that. You will start to see more of that uh, in, in the coming years. Uh, you heard it here, here, folks. Uh, gays are pushing the pedophile agenda. Like, I, re I remember it was like a... I remember it was, like, questioning the tranny narrative that got me, like, very, very, very anti, uh, very anti-gay. 
Because, like, it's the same thing, right? Like, oh, they're just being themselves. No, they're not. No, they're not. Like, they're being manipulated <laughs> into behaving a certain way by people who tell them that this uh, behavior is normal. Like, it's remarkable to me, honestly, like, reading, like, uh, gay blogs and shit like that. Like, from people who, uh, who legit, like, sort of believe that the reason they're, uh, the reason they're so unhappy is because, like, the way society treats them. And it's not because, like, they're not living fulfilling lives. Like, that's just, uh, I hope that kind of, uh, answers your question about that. I don't know, like, it's only gonna be a couple more, like, here's the thing with the gay marriage thing, like, within a couple of years, like, the more people become aware of, like, uh, <laughs> Of, like, the dynamics of, like, gay marriages, like, the typical dynamics, uh, you know, the abuse of, like, lesbian couples and shit like that. Uh, like, you know, the rampant child abuse, things like that. Like, it's not gonna stick. Like, I really don't think there's really any, uh... Like, once people are aware, I don't... I think it will start to get, like, less and less support. Uh... At the moment, they're kind of in this mindset, like, oh, we, we can't judge this thing that's never really been tried. And, and that's kind of the, that's kind of like the communistic thing in a nutshell. Like, they present this stuff as if it's like something that's, uh, these new ideas that have never been tried before. And when in reality, they've, uh, they have been tried before, they don't work. You know what I mean? Like, feminism is a, is a thing that's introduced in declining societies, right? It's a, it's a really good, really good indication that your, uh, your value system is going downhill. Um... Again, I'm not like an expert on this kind of thing uh, by any means, but again, I'm still very much against it, obviously. Like, I think the main thing, uh, people need to stop being uh, homophobic. And by that, I mean, they need to be stop. They need to stop being afraid of gays, like accusing them of just being bigots or whatever. <laughs> like, that's what homophobia is, because most people just don't talk about this. Like, most people don't. Um, most people don't agree with the gay agenda. Like, the issue, they've just been kind of... They've been kind of beaten down about it. Like, they're just, they're just been told to accept it. That, like, oh, we're here, we're queer, we're not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> the thing is, though, uh, they are going to go... Like, without, like, the education system, without, like, the indoctrination, without, like, mass media, they have no way to reproduce. Like, that's that's really the uh, the only way they can... The Really, the only way they can uh, replicate their uh, toxic, toxic worldview is onto... Uh, is through mass media, like, norm trying to normalize it. And, like, you have, like, impressionable, pe impressionable people who fall for it, who think it's, like, a completely legit sort of lifestyle choice, but it's not. Ugh. Yeah, I've, I have no respect for the uh, LGBT agenda at all. I have two entire jiggies to find, and I have no idea where they are. Uh. Oh, did I go up? Can I go over here? Oh, wow, I didn't. All right, let's see how this goes. So, if you're, like, around um, LGBT individuals, like, for a long, long period of time, like I have, like, you'll start to see, like, these people... Uh, become more and more extreme because they're they're told that's what they should do. They're told that like, oh, uh, if I'm not happy as a as a gay man, I should transition into a woman and then like do this other depraved shit. Like that's kind of their that's kind of their mindset towards it. Like just go more and more extreme until like it works and uh, it doesn't work because they never really address the fundamental problem is that they don't know how to take care of themselves. They don't know like what a meaningful relationship is like. They, they kind of uh. You especially notice this when, like, they're very, very young, like, eight years, eight years old and shit like this. Like, 
they kind of um, they kind of misinterpret their own feelings about other people. You know what I mean? Like you see this with girls a lot, uh, where they'll say that like, oh, I totally uh, am in love with this person, when no, you're not. You're drawn to them for like other reasons, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you want to be with them forever. You know what I mean? Like it's not like it's not a it's not like a romantic relationship. Like they they sort of sort of like conflate the two things. Like you, they feel like it, it's like if you have a strong like feeling to so, of someone, like some kind of like strong respect or, or like admiration or something. Like oh, that's a, that's a crush. You're in love with them. Like it's just not really. Uh. Ah damn! I drowned. What the fuck. Like, I'm fairly confident that, like, gay dudes just can't, um, uh, have just never been with women. That, that's just, uh, that's just kind of my feelings on it. Like, men are just easier. <laughs> like, that, that's kind of the feeling. Like, you have a bunch of dudes who don't want to deal with, like, uh, women and their bullshit. Like, if you're around, uh, gay men, you kind of know what I'm talking about. They're very, they're actually very, very, uh, misogynistic in that regard. They'll shit talk like women all the time. Because all the, all the dudes they want, uh, straight guys... Are, are like out doing, out like getting with women and wait what what the fuck? I didn't grab that. What the fuck was I doing? Uh. So okay, what the fuck was I doing there? Oh wow, that was a that was a complete fuck up. Uh. So like really, I think like uh, gain it like gayness exists because like it's kind of rewarded by our society right now so if you're if you're gay you can sort of like succeed in certain areas uh, just because you're gay like people don't want to admit that but it's true uh, so like I think if like you if you stop rewarding it like you would see people like start to drift away from the lifestyle like you would if you would stop enabling them if you would stop like telling them that like uh, <laughs> that there are like a million different uh, genders or whatever. Uh, people would stop uh, believing it. Like, that's that's another interesting thing. Like, you don't really see a lot of these people outside of like specific demographics. Like, they they basically just exist in like super super paused like liberal areas and nowhere else. Like, you don't. It's uh, kind of pathetic. Oops. Actually, really pathetic. Uh... And, like, I do think we're seeing an end to, like, the pauseness of things. Because cause people are starting to, like, call, like, uh, professors out in their shit. Like, uh, the schools. Like, people know. Like, the uh, <laughs> the schools have been subverted by communists who aren't teaching anyone anything. Who are just trying to, like, normalize all this crazy bullshit. I heard it. Uh, where's, where's the last one? Could it be in the... Uh... Yeah, well, you'd be wrong. Da, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, that's another thing they do all the time. That's another thing they do all the time. Like, every single time you start talking shit about, like, uh, uh, women or uh, LGBT or, like, anything, uh, different races. Oh, you you don't have enough sex. Like, they always make everything uh, super, super sexual. Uh that's kind of their that's kind of their mindset towards everything like oh man you don't have any sex oh man i bet you're a virgin it's just wow wow um that that's kind of lame dude like what are you like a 12 year old girl like come the fuck on you virgin oh here we go we got it okay If anything, I think people need to have less sex, honestly. Like, I've, uh, I'm definitely staying away from promiscuous women now uh, going forward. They're definitely not, uh, worth my time. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, too many times you're talking to a girl, and you, there, there have been too many times where, like, they try to, like, uh, say, say shit like, oh, I would never sleep with, uh, someone who believes this, and you're just like, okay, 
so like <laughs> what's the big deal like he should be sleeping with like everyone uh, and that's the weird thing about lesbianism it's just a weird kind of like uh okay okay so basically uh women don't really want to sleep with like a bunch of different dudes they're basically just kind of manipulated into, into thinking they should by like society and stuff like that it, it actually makes them miserable uh like even even at their peak like i don't think a lot of dudes realize this because i i think a lot of people like don't really uh, understand this maybe they're not around them like during their uh their uh downtime when they're not like out being thoughts but uh yeah I, i've been around thoughts uh during their downtime right when they're not actively looking to get fucked and uh it's it's really interesting because they're actually really miserable people like everyone always goes on about like uh the wall and like oh they're they're gonna regret their life decisions when they hit like 30 or whatever no they're they're living terrible lives now like it's not it's not like a sudden thing like already even in their 20s they're uh, not getting fucked by chad they're not they're not like uh they have to like work these crazy hours well they have to work in general which they, they shouldn't be doing um again feminism <laughs> um like they have to work these jobs they don't enjoy they had to like deal with like uh, beta simps who are like really really unbearable and annoying. Like people always like talk all this shit about like uh, about simps and like oh man why are they why are they why are they giving women all this money? Giving them money is the only way they can get like positive attention from a woman. Oh by the way that's another thing I've noticed. Like have you noticed that you never really see uh, women call out like simps for like being simps? Like oh it's perfectly okay to be a simp if you're giving me money. Like that's kind of their that's kind of their mindset. I, I keep jumping from topic to topic. You don't see women calling like uh, liberal beta orbiters like simps, the way they try to call like uh, people like me uh, virgins or whatever. <laughs> like kind of an interesting double standard there. Uh, but anyway, uh, wait, have I uh, opened it? Yeah, I have. Okay. Like I've seen women like try to like defend simps like so many times. It, it's kind of laughable. Like, if a woman is defending a simp, it's, it's because she's making money off of them in, like, some way or another. Like, usually, because, like, I've seen women, like, be around, uh, be around simpish people who sort of, like, uh, who will sort of, like, publicly defend them and then, like, you know, in private, like, you know, not smash them. Uh, I keep jumping from topic to topic, I'm sorry. Let's grab a pair, all right. Oh, wow, not a lot of whole new, whole new moves here. <laughs> Wait, did I get the Xbox? Basically never, honestly. Like, I, I still don't really like Xbox. Um, yeah, I literally have Xbox Game Pass, access to basically all of their games, and they're all basically shit. So, I, I, I still hate Xbox. Um... The thing about the Xbox Game Pass, though, is it's letting me play a bunch of shit that I don't want to. I don't want to actually like buy outright. So like, I can play No Man's Sky, call it shit. I can play like Sea of Thieves, call it shit. Like, there shouldn't be a time again, ever again, where like a game comes out, um, and I don't have the opportunity to play it. So that that's kind of a. Uh, that's kind of the benefit for me. I can stay on top of things. I can like stay on top of like Final Fantasy 15. And I don't. I don't have to pay. I don't have to pay for it. But I will be able to pay, play it for a little bit, uh, as long as I need to, to talk about, like, what makes it a bad game. So that's kind of a very, very exciting for me. Oh, we would want to get first, I think. Uh, I'm paying for Xbox Game Pass, but nothing else. So I'm not buying, like, newer games. I'm not buying the games, I'm just playing them on Xbox Game Pass. So I haven't had Xbox Game Pass for, like, two days, and I'm pretty sure, like, I basically already... <laughs> have already, uh, downloaded everything I'm ever gonna play on it. Because there really isn't all that much. Like, they have Arkham Knight, worst game I ever played. Like, Final Fantasy XV, worst Final Fantasy. Like, they have, like, uh... All this bullshit that's awful. Like, No Man's Sky, awful. Like, again, like, here's here's the core fundamental problem with the Xbox Game Pass. Um, it doesn't have good games. Like, that, that's, like, that's all of that. That's it, like, it, to put it very, very simply. Like, it's just 
It's just a bunch of bullshit you probably already have or don't care about. Uh, here we go. Oops. Yeah, should I play some Resident Evil 7 here soon? I think I... We'll see, we'll see. Uh... I'm really enjoying this. Uh, this is the best game on the uh, Xbox Game Pass, for sure. Like, Banjo kazooie a N64 game. Like, did Nintendo actively contribute to the development of this at all? Like, maybe some minor contributions? I guess it was influenced by uh, Super Mario 64. Which is, I think, better than this. I think it's safe to say that uh, Mario 64 is better than this, now that I've uh, played through it again. Oh, by the way, uh, I actually that I actually have, um, as of yesterday... Oops. What? Oh. As of yesterday, I do finally own a, a physical copy of uh, Super Mario 64. Yeah, for the longest time, I didn't have one, because I just downloaded it on Wii. But uh, I do actually now have one, so that's, uh, that's pretty great. That timer was just... That timer was confusing as fuck. Like, okay. That timer was just confusing me. So I... <laughs> I hit that timer, tried getting that puzzle piece, went back this way, got into this puzzle piece fight, and now, I don't know. Yeah, I was surprised at the amount of people who sort of, like, uh, tried uh, coming after me for the whole, like, gay thing. Like, come on, like, nobody, nobody agrees with your bullshit. Like, th that's the thing about gayness. Like, the thing I'm really starting to, like, notice and recognize, like, they don't really have a real cause to fight for. Like, all they're doing is just come down and, like, shout you down. They try to, like, just call you a bigot or whatever. Like, if you're just like, yeah, I don't support gay marriage, that's all. That's all you really need to do, and, like, they just freak the fuck out. I don't know, like, people say I have, like, really hot take opinions. I don't really think so. Like, the only hot take opinion I think I have is, like, the whole, like, uh, Nintendo thing. The Nintendo Master Race thing. <laughs> like, that is, like, the only... That is the only hot take opinion I think I truly have, because I don't think anybody else really has that opinion. Because most people are so misinformed by, like, the, uh, the gaming media at large. Uh, like, I, I'm not saying I'm wrong about that. I'm saying that, like, it's kind of, like... Uh, an opinion only I'm, like, expressing at the moment when it comes, like, the x like, the superiority of Nintendo platforms. Like, that's a, that's a hot take. That, that's something only I, I, uh, really, really adamantly, uh, push for. Like, I, I know other people who, like, who know that, or who, who believe it, but it's like, well, who cares mostly? Like, most people aren't as, like, obsessive as me about this. And honestly, even I, as I get older, I'm getting to the point where I'm just like, eh. Does it really matter? I mean, I mean, Sony's gonna go away. They're, they're in the process of going away. They, they can't, they can't keep up with it, what they've been doing. Uh, I don't think we're going to have another PS4 ever again. Uh, honestly. Um, like, now that the Switch is basically, like, putting out, like, better games. Better, like, AAA games and, like, the competition. I don't think PlayStation is going to be able to, to keep up with that. Here go. Here's the bitch Switch. Right. Yes, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing on the on the Xbox. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot of people say like, "Oh, Xbox Game Pass is on PC." No, you can play Xbox on PC, Xbox Game Pass on PC, but it's not the same thing as it being like like a PC exclusive. Like you can play it on a wide range of devices, which is why it's going to destroy PC because like you're not going to play it. You're not going to want to play it on PC. Like you're going to want to play it on like your phone or. Or, um, or console or whatever, like PC gaming, just... What benefit would playing Banjo on Game Pass through the PC give you? Like, basically nothing. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the same as the other versions. And when you can't, like, pirate it, when you can't, like, uh, do all the shit you want to do with it, it's, uh... It's not gonna be beneficial to you, so... That, that's kind of my feeling on that. Uh... PC, playing on PC is just gonna be another option. Which, basically, it already is, but, uh... It's gonna be more so uh, with the Game Pass, I think. Like, this is why I'm saying like Game Pass is like gonna destroy PC gaming in particular, 
because every single major indie game, like every big indie game, is just going to be available on Game Pass. Uh, Hollow Knight's available. Like uh, Hollow Knight's available right now. Um, I'm not going to buy it because uh, I'm not going to play it because I already own it on Switch. But um, again, like, why would you need to buy these games on PC? Because um, you could just download load them for free on Xbox Game Pass. It's just it, it's just completely pointless. I hate it. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm ready to play some uh, something else. I love the game, but uh, I think a world of session is enough. So we got through like Clanker's Cavern. Yeah, I say I'm gonna stop and I keep playing. It's uh, that's that's the hallmark of a great game right there. I think. Yeah, this this would be brutal in like the N sixty four version, but in this one it's uh it's all quite a bit easier. Five already? Wow. Uh, well, to be fair, I know where everything is, so it's like okay, whatever. Oh, here's Mumbo. All right. Uh, I should have enough to transform, but let's, uh, let's see. Like, I am convinced that the whole, like, higher frame rate thing is just a joke. Like, there's no discernible difference between, like, Xbox or PC gaming. It, it, it's the same thing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you're playing on. Oops. And since it doesn't matter, the, uh, the, the Xbox is superior because it's more affordable. I love this alligator so much. It's adorable. Look at it. Alright. Uh, I should get some more tea. Yeah, what should I play next? Does, it, does anybody have any recommendations? Um, I think I do want to play Resident Evil 7. Like, honestly, I probably should be playing that a lot more. But, like, every time I play this, I keep playing, like, all this weird bullshit. But, uh, alright. Yeah, I think this guy gives you two. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest crack of all. Play my game to win a prize. Like, I think you're supposed to have the sneakers, but... Let's see how easy this is. Uh... And I gotta fuck this up. I think it's the easiest way to do it is just like get in front of him and cut him off. Like whenever he gets ahead. Yeah, you're a tad bit faster than him, so it's actually pretty easy for you to, to do that. I didn't, I didn't get the turtle yet. That's a, that's another one I need to get. Go inside the turtle. Got him. Perfect. Twenty F. <laughs> what are you talk? Who the fuck plays like Friday the Thirteenth? Who cares about some shit license game? Like a real like, PC gamers are so full of shit. Like they really are. Like, oh, I can play this, uh, this shitty Friday the 13th. Like, who cares? Alright. Hey, you piece of shit. Oh, whoops, what the fuck? There's not enough, there's not enough to eat. Alright. There's no red ones. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh... Like, PC gaming is basically dead at this point. Uh, at this point, like, I, uh, I heard speculation that Microsoft would consider would consider buying Valve, and I, I think when that happens, that, that's gonna be it. Uh, without Valve, you don't have shit. Uh, and honestly, you, you already don't really have shit. You just kind of make excuses for them. Oops, um... 
Yeah, people are kind of fixated on like the, the PlayStation thing right now, but I think. I think when Microsoft seriously starts pursuing a... I think when Microsoft starts seriously pursuing PC gaming, they could, they're going to quite handedly like uh, take out Valve. Uh... Oh, 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 he switches between the two. I forgot. Shit. All right. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Ah, idiot. All right. Shit. Got him. He's a shit. Idiot. Alright. Fucker wants me. What a piece of shit! Like, what the? Did you did you catch that? That motherfucker lost twice or three times in a row, and then he challenged me again. He has nothing to offer this time, so I say no. And then he thinks that like I'm scared of him. What a piece of shit! It's like a video game lover 58 debate where like you don't want to come on because he's a piece of shit, and uh, he accuses you of being scared of him. Like, what the fuck? All right. Uh, was it Video Game Lover 58 or did I? Or was it someone else? I, I think it was Video Game Lover 58. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Switch is definitely a lot better than... Uh, I legit own more Switch games physically than I think there are on uh, on Xbox Game Pass. Like, it, it's, it's radically... The difference in, like, the quantity of, like, great games on Switch is just insane. I don't know why people aren't talking about it. Probably because, like, it, it doesn't suit the narrative. Like, right now, like, uh, the game journalists are trying to sell you on the PS5. They're trying to convince you it's going to be good. It, it's not going to be good, but... Okay, one of the things I hate about the alligator, it's kind of hard to, like, turn back. Uh, wait, no, no, it's not. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, it's right up here. All right. Maybe there's somewhere else you can go with it, but I don't, I don't think so. I guess you could just crawl through the... I guess we can go ahead and, and uh, collect everything in the area. Not really, I mean... Like, PC gaming has been in decline for years. The only reason uh, they stayed relevant past 2000 was because of the rise of Valve and, and the Steam Shop and uh, digital distribution. Like, PC was able to, like, get on the digital distribution chain before anyone else, and that made them, like, mad bank back in the day. But, but we're at the point now where, like, console is doing the same thing but better. So that's, that's kind of why I say, like, Steam is dead. Like, Steam is the only reason that, like, uh, PC gaming was able to, uh, to stay even remotely relevant is because of, because of Steam and because of, like, digital distribution. Uh, it just had, like, its own specific niche. And uh, now that niche is uh, being filled by something else. Damn, this turtle is big as fuck. Right? He's an awkward looking thing, isn't he? Like, he looks like a snapping turtle with that, like, giant jaw. But... Here we go, three. Oh, 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 we got four, all right. I thought that was three, but okay. Um, how many Jinjos do we have? Does anybody, I mean, how many, how many Jiggies do we have? Not Jinjos, Jin, Jiggies. Uh, Let's 
there anything back here? I don't think so. Yeah, so I think I got everything. I think I gotta go. I think I gotta go in the turtle. And I think I gotta get that thing to. Oh, let's go back here first. I think I gotta go back in the turtle, and I think I gotta uh, go get that those crocodile statues. What else do I need? Uh, anyway. I think that's it. Yeah, Jinjo's that that, and uh, I, I think that's it. You get two jiggies in the, uh, the choir, right? Oh, the choir is uh, pretty obnoxious. So. All right, let's see how that goes. <sighs> well, you can't rely on a uh, gaming journalism sources, right? Like, again, we've saw we saw this like over the past couple of days. The weird bias when it comes to, like, PlayStation. Like, if PlayStation had bought Bethesda, you could be certain that, like, the game journalists would have been, like, over the moon about it, like, hyping it up, talking all this shit about it, how Xbox was doomed. But since Microsoft acquired them, like, you've been seeing this weird cope, like, this weird refusal to admit that, like, uh, that Sony is, like, getting completely fucked. Like, um, you can't trust game journalists. Um, just like you can't trust the, the people telling you that PC gaming is doing well, because it really isn't. Like, the, the exclusives are going down, the quality is going down, um, console is keeping, keeping up with it. Actually, uh, outstripping it, I think, I would say, it's safe to say. Like, let's look at it this way. Like, uh, one of the biggest, um, biggest franchises on PC, The Sims, uh, you know, Life Sim. Like, what's the biggest Life Sim in recent years? Animal Crossing. Like, it's not, The Sim has basically, has basically, uh, lost ground to Animal Crossing. Um... Animal Crossing sold, like, a bazillion units. It's probably going to go on to be one of the best-selling games ever made. Uh, oops, sorry, shit. Oh, here's the final Jinjo. All right. Like, basically, like, every major, uh, third-party title. Like, I, I say third-party, I mean, like, non-Nintendo. Basically, like, every major franchise is base is old and tired at this point. And, uh, everybody just wants to play the Nintendo stuff. That's going to last forever. Um, that's, that's the thing I think people are starting to notice about Nintendo games, is that, like, they age a lot better. Like, people, you still have people, like, playing Wind Waker, you still have people playing uh, Twilight Princess, you have people, like, getting excited for Skyward Sword HD. Like, you have all this stuff. Uh, that would never happen to, like, Watch Dogs, to Assassin's Creed 1, to, like, um, GTA 4, even. Like, if GTA 4 ever gets re-released, like, it's gonna... That game is gonna be, like... That game is gonna be seen the same way that I think uh, Driver is seen today, right? Like, it's being like, wow, this game is actually pretty terrible. <laughs> I can't believe we used to play this back in the day. Because, again, like, th these games didn't sell themselves on being good or interesting. They sold themselves on being like, hey, look. Uh, look at these graphics. Look at the fact... You can uh, beat up prostitutes and take their money. Isn't that cool? Like, it's not an actual engaging, fun video game. Yeah, I really wish, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 was still on Game Pass so I could, like, play it and talk shit about it. Because I am really curious as to how bad it actually is. Because I've heard nothing but bad things, but, but like, I've heard uh, people <laughs> razor fist, uh, go full damage control for it, like, in recent years. Like, oh, this this game sold, like, um, this game sold um, uh, 32 million units. That proves there's a market for Western games. No, no, you dipshit. Like, it sold 32 million because it's a Rockstar game. And Rockstar is, like, the go-to go -to product for normies. Like, nobody... Quality doesn't really... What, the, the game's quality doesn't actually factor into, like, people's purchasing decisions. Like, people are buying it because it's from the same company that makes... That makes Grand Theft Auto. That's it. That's the only reason why. It has nothing to do with, like, the Western... All right. Angle. Hey, it's tip top. It's tipped up from Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest. Tip Top. <sighs> tip Top, do you not recognize me from Diddy Kong Racing? We, we race together. Bit short, isn't it, Shellboy? I love how they don't even tell you. 
I hate the camera. I hate the camera angle. It completely fucks me up. Not too bad. Try listen too. Red. Shit. All right. Uh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this segment at all. Like, when I played this tipped up at Diddy Kong Racing, I never thought I'd be, like, smashing turtles. Splendid. You just need one more lesson. Blue. Shit, how am I going to remember that? Uh... Three, four, five. Wait, did I really get it right? What the fuck? How did I do that? Like, I legit had no idea, but I somehow... Okay, wow. I didn't think I had it memorized, but I guess I did. Wow, holy shit. Well, anyway. Oh, hey everyone, uh, be sure to check out my website at blackcatbooks.org, thank you. Actually, I need to start, like, updating again. I have not updated in the past couple of days. Uh, I, I've been watching, like, Legend of Galactic Heroes, and I've been wanting to talk about that, but unfortunately it's like, eh, I'm busy, I gotta work on my phone. Again, I'm, I feel like I'm making excuses all the time. Uh, uh, So wait, where's the last one? I got the Jinjos, right? <sighs> so where, I, where exactly is the last, uh, is the last thing? Uh, oh, can it be over here? Wait, this thing? No, uh... Yeah, where is it? Uh, I've been everywhere, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, the statues, I remember now. I, I, I explicitly was like, oh yeah, we have to get the statues, and I completely forgot about them. Every single time, I don't know why, I keep forgetting they're there, I always do this last, and I, I'm not sure why. It's completely... It's probably just because I got in the habit, because like, I didn't, I didn't notice it the first time I went down here. Or, I think I noticed it, but I didn't know how to use it. Um, it, it probably is best to go ahead and do this first. But... Or, so you can just do it as you go through the level. It's just... Ugh. So yeah, that's Bubble Goop Swamp. I can't believe we, like, played through all of this. I legit thought I would give up and play something else, but no. Uh, wait, where is that? Where's the crocodile? Is it a crocodile or alligator? It has to be a crocodile, right? Like, I looked up the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, and I can't remember. It has something to do with the head shape, I think. Uh... Uh, uh, the snout shape, I should say. Like, there is, like, very discernible differences, but... Wait, wasn't he up here? Wait, where is it? Hang on, wait. Was it up on the thing? I... I hear it is. I see it. Yeah, I saw the crocodile, and I was like, oh, it's by the crocodile, but now it's up here. Okay, where's this guy? Yep, by the bitch switch. Uh, am I the only one who does that, like, calls at the bitch switch? I can't be the only one. Uh, that, that reminds me. Uh, what do you think would happen if uh, Gruntilda... Uh, stole Bayonetta's looks, like like she does in this game. Like puts, like takes Bayonetta, puts her where Two D is, and just and just switches. Like, <laughs> what what would happen, man? What would that do? Like, okay. like the thought crossed my mind because uh, I've been playing this, and I was just like, you know, that would be the most crazy thing imaginable. There we go. It's by the crocodile. It's by the uh, the shack. I don't want to die because I don't want to get through this game. Uh, 
And there's a turtle. Uh... Oh no, he's a soy boy. Oh no, he he has his mouth open. Oh no, that's the typical soy boy pose. Ugh. The soy boy facial expression, the open gaping mouth. Ugh. Like you can't look at like someone with an open mouth anymore and not think about that. It just ugh. it really just 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 stick out to me. Okay, behind the turtle. Uh, I think I should switch to RE4 or something. I don't know. No, RE7, not RE4. I'm not talking about. I don't own RE7 on Switch. I mean, on, on Xbox One. I was considering it rebuying on the Switch and just streaming it from there, but I was just like, eh. I don't know, man. I love RE4 a lot. But honestly, like, I, I've been thinking that like maybe I do prefer RE7, because I don't think... like. I loved RE4 as much as I do, like, 7, like, on my first playthrough. Like, I actually remember being disappointed with RE4 on my play first playthrough, so... Because uh, I was expecting so much more from it. Because, like, I'd been hyped up on it for so long. But, but I did warm up to it eventually. It's not like modern games where it's just like, oh, this is just pure garbage. Uh, yeah, RE4, like, did live up to the hype. Oh yeah, the Ori game. Yeah, I have the. I went ahead and got it on. It's on Game Pass, so I went ahead and got it there. Um, I'm not sure if I'll buy it on Switch. But I, I don't think I will. I'm not a big Ori fan. I didn't care for the original that much. I thought it was kind of overrated. So uh, we'll see if uh, Will the Wisp is any good. It's uh, it's definitely. It should be downloading now. It's downloading now. Kingdom Hearts. Oh wow. Fucking Kingdom Hearts. It's always Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts is taking its sweet time. And I think that's like the, the 2.8 prologue or some shit. Ah, but anyway. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is like... I said Final Fantasy is dead. Like, I think Kingdom Hearts is just as dead. Well, maybe not quite as dead, but like it's getting there. Like, 3, I think, was the end of it. Like, I think like by Kingdom Hearts 4, that should be around the point where people get really, really sick and tired of it. Uh, I know I am, for sure. Um, like, I'm at the point now where like I only really acknowledge the original as being uh, worthy of attention. Oops. Oh, I thought the mansion was with that. Is the desert before the mansion? Okay, where is Gobi? Oh, is that it? Wait, no. no, that's the way in. Yeah, I don't... It's weird. I don't remember where a lot of the, uh, the portraits are. So if Bubble Loop Swamp is 4, that would make Gobi's Desert 5, the Mansion 6, and for ZZ Peak 7? Fucking really? That's really weird. I didn't think it was that late of a stage. I thought it was like a mid-level stage, not an endgame one. Like, there are only like 9 levels, so... Uh... There are only nine, right? And then you have like, the, the, and then you have this one, which is basically its own area, the hub world. Honestly, like I love the hub world here a lot. Uh, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's the exact opposite of Princess Peach's castle, and I love it so much. Like you're exploring could kill this lair, isn't that awesome? All right, so. Uh... Yeah, I think I was supposed to go to Gobi's Thunder. I mean, maybe it's up here, but we'll see. Uh... Grunty's plan, oh, oops, is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. If she lose, uh, she's losing weight for the boys. Oh, fuck. I guess we're doing Gobi's Valley. Alright. 
I love how he said I was going to stop, but I can't stop. It's too good. Like, this game is just so good. Oh, so I go the wrong way. Yeah, if I'm going the wrong way, I think I, I think I am done. I think I'm gonna take a break. Um, Gobi's Valley next time, I think. Should we watch the uh, the ending cutscene? Because I don't think we've shown it on stream yet. they do what the fuck what the fuck were they thinking oh no <laughs> oh no no oh. <laughs> I love it damn damn that's hilarious okay I love that. That's hilarious. All right, definitely a, a classic gaming game over screen. All right. Uh, so should we try Dishonored two since it's uh, downloaded? Fable Anniversary. By the way, I actually kind of like. Um, I'll definitely be talking about that here soon. Maybe I shouldn't play it on stream, but uh, I'm I'm really into it. Uh, I mean, I, I liked what I played of it so far. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and just play that now. Let's see here. What should I? What should I play? Dishonored 2, I suppose. I wonder how long it's going to take me to get sick of this, but. Uh... <sighs> Dishonored 2, Zenimax Media. Oh, this is another IP that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be Xbox exclusive. I've never played this before, so I have no idea what to expect. So uh, I'm curious whether it's going to be my favorite thing. Um, I would say that like the Evil Within had potential. Uh, again, uh, Fallout had potential, but it, Bethesda has always disappointed me up to this point, so let's see what they, uh, they do. Dishonored 2. Alright, uh... So I know next to nothing about this one, so uh, we'll have to see how this stuff plays out. Dishonored 2 mode. Alright, I've never played this before, so let's, uh, campaign slot 1, sure, uh, medium. Tailored for players familiar with first-person action games, I uh, sure, why not. The tutorial. Today marks the anniversary of the death of Empress Jasmine Caldwin, assassinated 15 years ago. Visitors from across the Empire For the occasion. All right, so. Uh... Let's see what this is like. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Where are the subtitles? Like, come the fuck out. Where are my subtitles? That nearly destroyed Dunwall. A paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother. In the aftermath, 
The men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. Okay. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world. Or to have everyone around me executed. Ah, well, yeah, thank you. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Okay, first things first. Uh, we gotta fix this, uh, this travesty. Like, you don't have a game like this and not have the subtitles beyond. Oh, wait, wait, where the fuck is it? Wait, where the fuck are they? They always hide them in the weirdest places. All right, uh, just, I just want the subtitles. Well, they should have been on. They should have been on default, but uh, visuals, brightness, audio, subtitles, all dialogue. Yeah, fuck you. I am not missing a single thing. Your signet ring. There, you're ready. Don't. Thank you, Alexi. Open the doors. Ah, yes. Hello, my people. All hail her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. I am the Queen. Royal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through I'm the pacing ages. for this, I hate. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still what? learning. What? Don't worry. Why isn't my dad in charge? Like, why am I? Killer eventually. People are saying it's you. That these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. Yeah. Okay. I whatever. Wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. What? Why are we? Why are we having this conversation about paying respects to my fucking dead mom? Like shit. Okay. Oh yeah, I sit upon the Iron Throne. I am Daenerys, Queen of Westeros. Oh, okay. We have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's How special? Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsay? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Taconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Wait, what? Empress, Delilah Caldwin. Wait, what? My mother had a sister? I have an aunt? Oh no, it's a plot twist. Hello. Hello, uh, hello family. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But so, now, okay, do you have any evidence for your claim? You are my mother's sister. You're welcome to stay. Give me some you evidence. You can't just come in and say that, like, oh, I'm your aunt. Give me. I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My 
Yeah, 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 she's not obviously evil at all. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Right, right, you should be respecting me at least. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's all. What? Hear me, all of you. Your rightful empress. What the fuck? All right. Don't let her get away with this shit. First of her name. Wait, who are these? Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the crown killer murder. What? Bullshit. Okay, what the what the fuck is this shit? All right. Damn. All right. What is going on, even? Oh, all right. No, Daddy. No, I didn't. I thought you would live. Plays Emily Caldwin, ruler of the. You know what? I I want to play as Emily. I legit like like the idea of playing as the uh, the girl in this situation. Uh, the commands are different, right? No, Dad! No. Ah, oh, fuck. Sweet girl, over time you will come to love me. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> someday you'll see me as the mother you lost, but until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. What is this, this woman's face? Like, the faces in this game are just all right. Until her trial. Oh yeah, yeah. Someday you may see me as a mother after we put you on trial for murder. I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? Oh, no, okay, fuck. Oh, Captain Mayhew. <laughs> Captain? Oh, no. Fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? <laughs> no, Emily, you were my favorite. You. <laughs> you've done so much for me. Alright. Uh. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. And they say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. Wait, what? Stop him, you bitch! Get up and beat the shit out Did he really leave me alone? Alright, uh... You know, if this was a, a gameplay segment, I would just be able to move around and kick his ass, but unfortunately... Alexa. Gotta follow the script. All right. The throne room. Father. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Wait, is that a weapon? Wait, no, it's not. Uh, Sir, how long is it going to take Captain Ramsey? Of course, it's called his style. All right. Uh, oh, hey, I'm gonna take this uh, this fruit. All right, let's go. No, I, I've never played the first one. Like, I don't think it's available on, on a current gen platforms, is it? I've, I've never even heard of this IP. Ah, for good reason, because there's I'm no point in playing. In this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. It reminds me of Bioshock Infinite, but not quite as terrible. Like, that's the main reason I'm playing this. Uh, I kept playing this. You know what? Like, it, it doesn't seem, like, well-written or anything, but, like, I haven't seen the gameplay yet, so I'm kind of curious as a... We're just standing around not doing anything. Uh, how do I get out of this room? Uh, Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think.
Empress. After the Royal Protectors strike down Cruz, we'll launch the Jessamine Caldwin just before the anniversary of your mother's passing. Pending your approval, of course. On the platform, we'll have a bottle of King Street Brandy. And what you're doing is doing the Caramonies, of course. Up to you, but here are some ideas intended to serve as food for thought. May a brisk wind hurry you to shores near, far, and fair. May you shelter your crew from the perils of the terrible ocean. May you always sail for Bristol, true of heart and homeward bound. Yours faithfully, Advisor Wainwright. All right. Uh... Empress kidnapped. All right. Uh, can I come out the window? No. Here we go. Yep, easy. How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. All right, so we're on the... Uh... Knocked on the inside. That was the one I just climbed out of, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna jump down from that. Uh... Where am I going? Where am I going? All right. Uh... Uh, yeah, I didn't play the first one, so that might be why I'm kind of confused. Uh, oh no, this is a different. This is a different room. It just looks the same. All right. No, wait, no. No, it's the same one. Wait, so does this? Is this a different room then? Okay, here we go. Delilah is some sort of witch. How is this possible? A witch? Gee, a witch. Only, you're all right. I was worried. Oh, hey. Hey. Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is. He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexi, I'm sorry. Goodbye. R.I.P. Alexi. All right. I need my signet ring. I don't have the ring. So. My ring. Ramsey has it. So where is? So I gotta get the. Uh, I gotta get the thing. All right. Hang on, wait. By holding Y and moving L, you can even lean around corners or peer over cover. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, I think I heard something. Someone is asking for trouble over there. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I was looking for trouble. Uh,. Oh, wait, I'm carrying the body. Alright. Uh. So this is a stealth game? That's kind of the impression I'm getting right now. Well, that's a good thing this girl can beat the shit out of trained soldiers. Like, shit, I just flung that guy across the room. Ugh. All right. Ah, yes. Being the empress of this kingdom has given me incredible power. Abraham Lincoln. All right. Uh, John Wilkes Booth will pay for this. All right. Uh, Thrown 
room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally unlock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. <sighs> this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes. The natural order is reasserting itself. The natural order. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsay's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsay is too dangerous to be left in play. I haven't played a good stealth game in a while, so I might actually get into this. Uh, like from a gameplay perspective. But, all right. Okay, so you can see where he's moving around. That's kind of neat. All right. Uh, all right. This actually... I'm curious to whether I'm, I'm going to like this or not. All right. Let's, uh, let's kill this guy. No. He's eat. Hey, who is... <laughs> Got him. Yeah, maybe this game would better. Maybe I should have played this on a higher difficulty, but uh, that was for my yeah, I don't father. think. Uh, yeah, man, I think I might get into this. Uh, oh, did I get the? Did I get the key? Or do I have to grab it? I'll oh, hang on. Let's grab it real quick. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting playing it on normal. Oh shit! Where did this guy come from? Holy shit! She just hacked his leg off. What the fuck is this chick? She's awesome. Okay. Uh won't leave my hand again. Holy fucking shit, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, I kind of like this, actually. Alright. Yeah, so is the original any good? Uh, I'll definitely check it out if it is. Uh, what's it available for? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the writing, but like the gameplay is uh, not bad. I'll keep this. Elixirs. Crown killer. Dunwall citizens express shock and fears yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Bale, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Bale recently wrote an opinion. Is it Bale or Boyle? Uh, okay, yeah, it's Boyle. For what he called her slipshot. The text is a little bit too small for my liking. Crown Killer must be connected to all this with the Duke and Delilah. I don't know. There's a better way to set this concept up. I have a feeling I'll need these. Oh, fuck yeah. She has a gun. Hardcore. Invoking her Second Amendment rights. Okay. Hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the idea of being a princess who beats the shit out of her enemies. I mean, yeah. It's just... The the, sto the, the writing wasn't good. The setup wasn't good. But uh, I, I think it could work, really. Like, uh... You know, being accused, a princess being accused of a crime she didn't commit and having to fight these people. That's awesome. Uh, I 
Oh, so 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 they waited. Oh, so you waited until she was eighteen. Oh, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like this actually. Uh. Gotta eat healthy snacks to keep my energy up. All right. The reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. Like, do I really not have any supporters outside of the castle? Like, have they really like infiltrated? All right, but this is a castle, right? Uh... Yeah, I'll definitely check out the original. Uh, yeah, I heard the original was better, which is one of the reasons I never checked out too. But um, I didn't know anything about it, so yeah, I think I definitely will check it out. Because I like the aesthetic just fine. I mean, I like I like the way it's uh, handling so far. I don't think I've gotten really gotten to a stealth game since like Metal Gear Solid. So. I should make my way okay. to the docks. Dunwall. Gotta get out of Dunwall. Damn, yeah, I, I like this kind of aesthetic. Uh, I like this kind of architecture. Yeah, like, I love the game, the way the game looks. Uh, I mean, the, the environment art. I guess the character models I thought were kind of laughable. We've got to get away. Like, I had such a bad impression with the opening cutscene, but like now that I've actually played it, I just like you know what? Like, I I like this. Uh, all right. What do I have to do to help my father? What do I have to become? Uh, oops, oh, what the fuck? Oh, she can slide like a like a devil's third. Wow. Oops, is that a guard? Are they all after me? Do I really need a, to go to another screen to tutorial? Drop down onto an enemy from above to avoid taking damage for a fall. Press R two just before landing to perform a drop assassination. Is there any reason I should go non-lethal? I guess I'll try it just to. I mean, my, my line of thinking has always been, like, kill them so they don't get in your way later. Like, I don't understand this bullshit where, like, yeah, you should just knock them out. Like, what good does that do anyone? Like, maybe if, like, it's a misunderstanding and they're on your side, like, I would consider it. But uh, usually it's, like, everyone always says that it's for ethical reasons. Like, don't kill, the, don't kill your enemies. And it's, like, why? Just fucking kill them. Like, all right. Uh, like, stealth games are really particular about that. They really don't like... They really don't like you killing enemies for some reason. Yep. Yeah, should I play the original first? Should I, should I stop playing this and just play the original? I probably should, uh... If it's available on the Xbox Store, I'll, I'll go ahead and check it out. I'll put it on a wish list. I don't know. I don't usually like playing sequels before the originals, but I mean, if the, if the first one is better. All right. Uh, oops. All right. Uh, tutorial player way number. There are multiple ways to deal with enemy encounters. Uh...
former empress, Emily Caldwin, has been accused of high crimes against the state. Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. Uh, who's... Uh, do I? You really go for a whiskey or something? Maybe one of them two penny drinks. Ah. Huh. Yeah, I like the way this is set up. I like how you can't tell if they've seen you or not. Oops, here, here. there we go. Shit. Oh, they recognize me. Shit. I'm so bad at this. Alright, uh... Shit, alright. Yeah, I was so fucked. Uh... What's going on here? Hey, who is... The so when we can just run through the entire game? Oh no. Hey, we're going full Dark Souls right now. Uh. This won't take long. Huh? So let's see. Hmm. Oops. Ah oh, shit. It's the Emperor. Well, I went where the game told me to go. Ah, fuck. Fucked up. Well, I shouldn't have got spotted. All right, so I, I gotta, I gotta learn the uh, the limitations of the AI. I think. May you rest in peace. Yeah, I'll probably get it for Xbox One if it's available. So wait, like killing enemies gets you a bad ending? Like, how does that work? Like, is it a really bad ending, or what? Like, am I already fucked by killing one guy? Like, what's the deal? Like, why, why are you so insistent about that? Just... Like, it, it didn't warn me, I don't think, so... Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Coldwin is... Well, this guy's already dead, but... We've got to find her. That's it, we've got your orders. We're in this with the Duke of Circano Saint. Oh shit, alright. So how do I get by this guy? Uh Emily Caldwin has been accused of high crimes against the state. Did he see me? Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. What was it? I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place I'll just in case. Yeah, take this, you traitor. Wait, shit. They're everywhere. Alright, shit. What the fuck? I don't... I don't respect traitors. Okay. Well, it can't be helped. Uh. Oops, shit. Hey, who is. Alright, uh. I guess I'm just bad at this. Uh. I mean, the cell. The cell seems like it's really good. The issue is, like, I just kind of got. I'm just not very good at it. Alright, uh, can I hide? Does he know where I am? Okay. It's a good thing this guy has his back to me. Alright, so I guess I'll just unconscious them. Knock them out if uh is now wanted for treason. Any of you. Hello. I'll check on anybody. Yeah. I don't want to go to search the whole no. place. No. I don't have time for that. No. Where are these guys coming from? Alright. Why are they all after me? What did I do? Alright. Oh, shit. Stop. You aren't going anywhere. She won't go far. 
Again, I keep fucking this up, but anyway. Uh, can I head in the water? Yeah, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, Wait, 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 what is this bullshit? Why am I losing health? Wait. Oh, with Piranha? Hey, hey, man, man, the game didn't tell me that the water was full of piranhas. Like, what the fuck? Like, piranhas aren't, like, uh, ocean creatures. I felt like piranhas are always in like rivers and stuff like that, and like movies and stuff like that. Like, I've never heard of them like in a lake or anything. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but that's kind of my impression. All right, so I gotta just treat it like a stealth game. Yeah, I'm just so unused to playing stealth. Like I think the last game I really played seriously was like was like Metal Gear Solid Three. Like I don't even consider Metal Gear Solid Four a real stealth game. But... Yeah, this is definitely the best stealth game I've played in a while. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead, take the body, uh, lay it down here. Alright, uh... The former Empress, Emily Caldwin, has been accused of high crimes against the state. Anyone caught harboring her is equally guilty of treason. Where is that noise coming from? Like, I don't understand this setting. Like, is it supposed to be historical fiction, or... Like, an alternate history or what? Like, is it, is it its own world? I don't... Oh, shit. You can never see anyone. Like, it's just... Alright. that right. yeah I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this uh, I'm definitely gonna keep playing this I, I probably should just finish this and then go back to the first one but uh. They saw me! Ah, damn it. Uh, I guess I should run. Nope, nope. Damn, I can't even choke someone out without getting... Without getting caught. Alright, uh... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have fired my gun. I probably have a limited ammunition, right? So I probably should be careful, uh... So I guess, like, this one guard that comes after me, that's fine. But, like, if there's a bunch, you get kind of fucked. All right. Uh. A breakable door. Well, how do you, how do you break it? Oh, there we go. Is that how you do it? All right. Uh. Damn, this bitch eats a ton. Is that, an, is that an enemy? Hey, who is it? Oops. I was like, I saw that guy, I was like, wait, is that an enemy? But no. Yeah, you don't. Kiara, sorry you missed us. I'll be taking a 
children away from Dunwall earlier than expected, a few weeks before the upcoming anniversary of Empress Desimene's death. Things are about to get bad, and I'm not just talking about the crown killer. Besides, there's profit to be made. I can have some tea. Oh, fuck. fuck this game. <laughs> Zero out of ten, you can't have tea. Like, does Emily, Emily like tea? Is that what she likes doing in her free time? Just curl up with a book and have uh, during tea time? Oh, fuck you. No, she's not. Does anybody, like, hear the situation and go, like, huh, this seems kind of suspicious? I don't know. This entire setup is kind of dumb. Oops. Shit. Yeah, they're everywhere. I, I don't like... I need to go... I need to find a way to go up. Uh, wait, can I go up that way? Up this pipe? Oh, awesome. Rad as fuck. Okay, uh... Yeah, I really like how uh, versatile the game is. Um, if you see something, you can typically do it. Um, interact with something, you can do it. You can go in buildings, you can, like, explore, you can... You can... I could have done, gone down that path, but I wanted to go around, so I did that. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. So yeah, what makes the what makes the first game better than this? I'm I'm really curious. Like, does anybody have an idea? Is the story just better? Is it just because of the story? Because like I will say, like the story is kind of the uh, the bad side, the um, the negative side of this for me at the moment. Uh, rats. Oh fuck! Hey, who is? Damn, I didn't see that guy. All right. Huh? If yep, I'm uh, out of here. Nope, you didn't see anything. I'm gone. How aggressive are they? Are they gonna keep pursuing me? know where I was. Uh, but I was out of their line of sight. All right. All right. Uh, okay, I'm not sure how to run and hide yet. this door. Nope. Fuck. Damn. Hey, you can walk on rooftops. Run on rooftops. rooftops. Like, yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, oops. Alright. I just can't figure out where to hide a lot of times. Alright. Uh, Show yourself. Oh fuck! They threw a rock at me. Fucking idiots! All right. Think you're being... yeah, this this princess is brutal as shit. All right. Wait, how do we get over to the boat? Oh damn! They're everywhere. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna wing it. Lost her? Holy shit. Oh man, I barely made it. I sucked ass, but. Fuck, I sucked at that. Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the coins in the city. There's a coup underway, and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours. 
Anton Sokolov. Oh man, <laughs> that was the Metal Gear comparisons. Sokolov, really? I know Anton, but Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship, the Dreadful Whale. We can head out as soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the crown killer You didn't even escape. thank her, you bitch. Delilah must have been uh. for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. I'll give you that. Should we go? Yep, let's go. Yes, I'm ready. Yep, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see the chat. I just wasn't uh, paying attention because I was so busy trying to get away from these guys. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I would like to... I would be fine with debating people, but the issue um, I'm having right now, um, I'm getting really sick of uh, PC gamers coming in and like making everything about like PC gamers. I, I don't want to talk to anyone about PC gaming. Um, I've already made my views on that clear. Uh... Yeah, I'm not talking to Brigadia. I'm not doing it now. Why would I? Uh... Oh, good for you. Okay, what is this? Uh, lethality. Civilians killed, none. Hostiles killed, eight. Total killed, eight. Well, if I didn't kill any civilians, like... Is this game gonna, like, try to make me... Try to guilt trip me about killing my enemies? Like, fuck that. I'm a princess. Like, I burn my enemies. Like, <laughs> if I could do it on top of a fire-breathing dragon, I would. I would. Like, fuck my enemies. All right, but anyway. Yeah, as you can uh, as you can imagine, I'm a big fan of uh, Edelgard. <laughs> Just ah, uh, yes, my enemies, they must all die. Ugh. Is that how I'm like role playing Emily? Is this like? Like a really vicious, like psychopathic, like crazy ruler who just wants to kill everything. ship. Feels odd. I haven't killed anything in two minutes. All right. Uh. Oh, she locked me in. Ah, oh, fuck. That's uh, that's not good. What is this place? What? Wait, wait, this is this isn't a shit. Wait, what the fuck is this shit? All right. Uh All right, uh I can feel something moving closer. What? Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the battle days. Battle days? <laughs> what? I've never heard that term before in my life. Us to meet. All right. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flying. Yeah, I don't I don't care. Bay. How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? I, I don't play games for cutscenes. What are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. Oh, wait, wait. Is this gonna be a... Is this a moral dilemma? I wasn't paying attention. Fuck. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I don't give a shit. Burns. From the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of... Something. Far reach. Stories. They're true. What? Oh, okay. Incredible. Oh, this is actually this a, is a bit different than. Save my father and reclaim the throne. I'll do it by any means necessary, even if it means killing a bunch of people in my way. Right. 
I like the way this uh, power works, by the way. I don't think there's anything really like it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but I'm not. Yeah, I'll definitely play this again. I definitely one of the best games I've played so far. I would say like I still prefer Resident Evil Seven, but this is uh, definitely, definitely something I'm really into. Honestly, like probably the best best Bethesda game I've played in a while. Uh, I mean, I like it. I think I like it a lot more than Doom Eternal, Doom 2016, for sure. Uh, Use the heart to locate ruins and. What the fuck is this bullshit? Alright. What is this nonsense? Like, have it be a stealth game, like in the society with this. Uh, okay. With a cool aesthetic. Like, you don't need this ridiculous. I don't know. Uh, Again, this is an this is an example of like a perfectly good idea being like just being just being held back by having a story, honestly. Like that, that's definitely like the thing that Doom Doom 2016 got right. It didn't have a story at, and it didn't really have a story and that was that was much to its benefit. Like I legit think that's one of the big reasons why people prefer like that game so much. Who is Delilah really? How could to kill all these motherfuckers? I don't understand. Right, uh, No man. Uh, when I accepted that debate with like a video game lover fifty eight, like what did he do? Like he brought in like a bunch of his friends, and they started all like shouting at me about like stupid bullshit. I don't know. Like, I, I've I've had like poor experiences with debates. Uh, like there's no point really. Like I, I think it's just best to like make my point clear, uh, make videos about it constantly. Actually, I should probably uh, make some stuff now. Um, I, I don't think I have uh, any videos in the pipeline. I guess I could record some stuff now. Um, I gotta talk about No Man's Sky again uh, today. I don't know, like, what's the point, really? Um, like, I don't think I would get anything out of debate, out of, out of, out of a debate, to be honest. A dream uh, about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Uh, now I'm realizing that the world is more off kilter than I imagined. Everything uh, has been turned inside out. Uh, but I'm not going to stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. Once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirconan Guard has gotten increasingly aggressive beatings and firing squads. The blood flies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the crown killer to butcher my political <laughs> What? They took what was mine, and I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Like, again, like, this could be great. Like, this could have been great, but the story is just not very good, unfortunately. Uh, and if the game gets boring, I don't, I don't think I'll be able to finish it. But, uh, 
Oh, she's a writer. Aw. Ah. Uh, best girl right here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, is this uh travel log? Okay. Okay, uh. It's not what you're used to living in a palace, but this is all. All the coin I, I could scrape up. Alright, so now I'm exploring the city. Oh, hey! Everyone, uh, be sure to check out blackoutbooks.org. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. New document added to. Must be cursed, daft old man. This is some shit. Here up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Uh, sure. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. Uh, I've played plenty of No Man's Sky for a... I've played plenty of No Man's Sky for an opinion. Uh. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. Yeah, No Man's Sky is a uh, complete dog shit Didn't for sure. Much <laughs> Usually the oh. authorities resolve that sort of thing. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't understand... Do okay, maybe I should be paying attention, but... And Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in okay, I'll, I'll talk about No Man's Sky after uh, this cutscene. Dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up the Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could toward Adermeyer Institute. Wow, this really the isn't very interesting at all. Asia. All right. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. Should I just skip all the cutscenes? I don't know. Like, I legitimately like Emily. I mean, what I what I've seen of her, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, her hacking people to pieces. I, I love that. But and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, he was Sokolov killed by. <laughs> he was killed by Major Volgan. When you get done at the institute, disable the watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring. Oh, is it Major Volgan or Colonel Volgan? What is his rank in Metal Gear Solid 3? The bad guy? The electric guy? He's a colonel, right? Always tinkering, painting, or living life with gusto. That's so cool. Oh, she keeps insects. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Uh, alright. See, I really don't care about the story in this. For the most part, though, I'm, I really am enjoying it a lot. Uh, Wait, can I get back to the game? Like, shit. Hang on. No, are we on a boat in the middle of nowhere? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Okay, here we go. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Yes, I'm ready to play the game again. Like, fuck you. Let's I don't... go see the streets where my father grew up. I love how, like, that's a, that's a thing. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, this is where my father grew up, and I don't give a shit. Oh, and she's wearing a mask. Oh, she's obeying uh, the mask mandates. Oh, she doesn't want to get COVID-19. So yeah, No Man's Sky. Okay, so yeah, I was uh, I was getting on No Man's Sky, right? I wanted to talk about No Man's Sky. So No Man's Sky, the narrative for the the past couple of years is that like, oh, the update has made the game better. It it has more stuff. It's more interesting. It's a uh, uh, it has more variety. No, <laughs> uh, I played it. Okay, I played No Man's Sky on Xbox Game Pass. I played a little bit of it, like fifteen minutes worth. Uh, I wandered around an empty landscape, watched the the enemy AI like run into like. A solid wall like endlessly just running in place <laughs> i saw like the terrible i saw how like how terrible the game handled i saw like the terrible gunplay like i didn't even bother getting a ship like in, in the end i was just like okay this is just pure garbage 
like the core gameplay loop of No Man's Sky, like the actual gameplay, is garbage. It doesn't matter how how like how many like giant worms they throw into the game. Like it's just like No Man's Sky is like the fakest thing I think I've ever seen. Like, it's baffling to me that people still defend that piece of shit. And I have played it now, so you can uh, stop telling me I haven't played it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like uh, with games like No Man's Sky, Destiny. Uh, what's another example? Uh, maybe Final Fantasy 15. Like you have a bunch of people coming out and saying that like, oh, you need to play it. You need to play it. You need to play it. You you have to play this in order to be able to judge it. And then you play it, and they're just like, oh no, you need to play it more. And then you like play it a little bit more and you hate it. And they're just like, no, no, you need to put like 15, 20, 25, 30 hours into it until it starts to be good. And then like, and then you're just like, okay. And then you do that. And then you say the game is still shit. And then they go, well, if it's so shit, why have you put so much time into it? Like you, you really can't win with these people. And uh, that's kind of like the loop that No Man's Sky has like uh, fallen into where like everyone who knows the game is shit, like basically everyone. Um, to Holy shit, cats! Wait, not those are rats. Uh, <laughs> how do I see a bunch of rats and, like, think they're cats? Okay, just the way they, they ran down. Wait, what, wait, what the fuck are these things doing? Like, did they not know there was water there? Like, what fucking dumbasses? Okay, uh... Well, still better AI than No Man's Sky. Like, shit. Alright, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, No Man's Sky is kind of in this position, right, where... There are people present it like, uh, oh, the updates make it better. Like, it was a good game. Uh, <laughs> it was a good game that's only gotten better with the updates. But if you actually play it, like I did, you realize very, very quickly the game is monotonous, boring, not at all beautiful, and, like, honestly not even worth turning on. Like, I... Like, I am not kidding. I've played, like, maybe, like, ten games on Game Pass so far. Um, I've tried, like, Dishonored 2, Resident Evil 7, Soul Calibur 6, uh... Uh, Streets of Rage 4, uh, this, like, out of all of those games, uh, Sea of Thieves, out of all of those games, all of those games I've played on Game Pass, No Man's Sky is the absolute worst. Like, bar none, not a single game was as boring, monotonous, or lazy as No Man's Sky. Uh, you can bypass this wall of light in a variety of ways. Shut down the windmill to disable the wall of light. Explore nearby apartments to find... Ooh, so there are alternate ways to shut this... Uh, to shut this thing down. You know, this is... This is the kind of thing I like in stealth games. Like, having ability... Uh, the ability to uh, to do things uh, in alternate ways. Alright, so... Uh, I mean, I need to pay attention to what my objectives are, but... So you have to get past this wall of light. Uh, oh, no. Is that a propaganda poster? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Shit. It's like Hillary Clinton. It's like, oh, no, she won the election, and now... Oh, no. Wait. Sprinting is suspicious? Wait, I was just running. All right. Running is not illegal. Shit, like... Ah. Neutral territory. Okay, are they gonna... Are they gonna still follow me into... They are. What the fuck? What are these idiots doing? Like, I didn't do anything. All right. Don't make me... Don't make me beat the shit out of you, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, he got me. So he just murdered me for breaking out into a sprint? Like, what's the deal with that? All right. Oh, didn't I already make that clear early in the stream? Uh, I am indeed against, against gay marriage. Um... That keeps coming up, but yeah, I need to keep repeating that apparently. Um, emulators on PC can make Bubsy 3D better. Okay, okay, I I don't think so. Bubsy, okay, I, I've never played Bubsy 3D. Uh, I played Bubsy one and Bubsy two, um, like both on stream. It, like Bubsy is the worst thing ever. Like, I <laughs> I you know I've played some real shit in my time. Like, I've played, like, Power Rangers licensed games. I've played shit like Superman 64. I've played, like, uh, uh, Uncharted 2. But, <laughs> like, Bubsy is on, like, a whole other level. 
Like, Bubsy is legit, like, probably the worst mascot platformer I've ever played in my life. Like, I cannot think of a single, a single thing. Like, even fucking Crash Bandicoot, I think, is better than Bubsy. Like, it, it's that terrible. Like, legit. Like, Bubsy is, Bubsy is, like, the absolute worst. Like, Bubsy, ah, oh, damn. If you've ever, if you've ever played it, uh, don't. Like, just don't even think about it. Don't even consider it. Like, Bubsy is... Bubsy is like an abomination on humankind. All right. So wait, how do I get past the wall? Um, oh great! Like I make a I make a Hillary joke, and immediately the the first thing I had to do is get past this wall. Uh, fuck! Why are they so aggressive? All right. Like let me figure this out. All right. Oh yeah, Crash is trash. Yeah, did I? <laughs> Are people that like unaware of my channel? Do they not know the? Uh, do they not know the uh, the meme like Crash is trash? Like shit. Crash is like um. I don't, I don't know. Like people really do think Crash is good. Like that's just kind of baffling to me. All right, the Wall of Light is so dangerous. Is a dangerous security system from the from the uh, the Red Plague. How many plagues have this world... Oh, the rat plague. Okay. Those not attuned are burned to ashes upon passing through. The wall of light is powered by a windmill, but the others are fueled by removable whale oil tanks. I shut down the windmill to disable the wall at night. Explore nearby apartments to find an alternate path. Brave the blood... Possess a rat? Hey, what? Uh, hang on. Too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? Shit. If anyone asks, we just ran through. Alright. So I think, okay, I think I should go up here. Alright. As he came into the window, it was the sound of a crescendo. Oh shit. Shit, alright. They're everywhere, alright. Ah oh, damn, yep, killed myself on the rocks. Can I get, can I leap out of the water? Does it work like that? Uh, yeah, these guys are really aggressive. That, that's one of the things I like about this. Uh, you can't get away from them easily. Um, yeah, I, I gotta stop sucking at this for sure. I gotta get good. Um, that's Ottermeyer in the distance. I think I'm ready for a break though. I think I'm ready to play something else. I'm enjoying this, but uh, I think I will uh, go ahead and play something else. I don't know. Maybe I should be playing. I mean, the chat seems to be enjoying this. So. Oh, hey, buddy. So many people trying to get away from Karnakas. Right so I can but where are you gonna go? There's money. All right, so let's try this again. Uh, yeah, should I try to go through that window, or should I try something else? Like, I think I do want to go through the window, but... What, what is this? Like, what did I just do? Oh yeah, riots 2020. Uh, riots 2020. Black Lives Matter. All right. 
rats in the cradle. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about smoke this rising story. from burning bodies. An entire city crying out. Now it's happening again. Welcome back. Welcome home. People like you and the crown killer are at heart of places like this. PC lives matter? I don't think so. Uh, no, definitely not. Oof. Uh, oof. Yeah, I've never played this game before, but I, I'm really, I'm really into it uh, for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely check out the original. Uh, definitely on my uh, list now. Oh shit. Here he comes. Am I oh, wait, the what the fuck? Hoping to cross paths with that monstrous assassin. What the fuck was that? Like no! Okay, I guess I didn't um I was trying to peer around the corner, so I guess I kind of uh, I, I guess I kind of underestimated like how you're supposed to do that. I guess he saw my head. But like the the uh I don't know, the tutorial told me that would uh, keep me, uh, you could look look at people like while staying behind cover, so like, I guess it just didn't work, but, I mean, he was right there, so I don't know, I need to get a hold of like how, um, how good the AI is, like, I, I guess I'm used to like playing Metal Gear where the AI is kind of brain dead. I mean, I don't want to call it Metal Gear brain dead, but, uh. I mean, it's really easy to get away from people in that game, to be sure. On. Let's have a fair fight. I, I mean, maybe I'm just used to it. Because I think I'm getting, I'm starting to get used to this, too. Like, I'm not big on stealth games, so... Alright, uh... You don't stand a chance, anyway! Wait, do I need to go get that again? So what does the heart do? Wait. Wait, how do you equip the heart? Wait. Where is it? Damn it. All right. Uh Far reach. The heart, a strange artifact that reveals runes and that all right anyway tutorial bone charms bone charms provide minor supernatural benefits okay and he saw me and he didn't like he really didn't expect <laughs> damn he really didn't expect me to sneak around behind him what a dumbass right, uh, oh wow yeah, take that, you piece of shit. Uh. Good brother Harold. Last week when we talked, what a state I was in. It was good to see you. Uh. Alright, Chester, whatever. Like again, I don't I don't care about the world building the world building in this game. It's it's not good. Uh let's see here. I mean, the game is fun to play, which is the most important thing, but oh shit. I doubt I can help you. Hey! Bastard overseers beat my man last month for whistling something heretical. Oh, what, really? Oh, wait, can I put the whip away? Here we go. Oh shit, it's another. What the fuck? I didn't have a weapon! Wait, what are these guys doing? What did I do? Alright, wiping off your blood. What? Okay. Like, enemies are hostile, like, uh, for no reason, apparently? Alright. Alright. Ooh.
Yeah, I think I'm ready to play something else. I'm enjoying the game, but I've been playing it for, like, I think a couple of hours. Maybe not that long, like, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I've been streaming for a while, so... Uh, yeah, now's a good time to stop, I think. Uh, is it, does it autosave? Uh, it probably should, but... Alright, uh, what should we play next? Uh, Resident Evil 7? Oops, wait, shit. Killer Instinct, okay. Oh, so I'll be able to play the uh, the Killer Instinct reboot, okay. So I, I played uh, Kingdom H Killer Instinct 1 and 2, but... Uh, I hate both of them, so I'm really curious as whether three is actually better than the the originals. I actually really, really dislike the original Killer Instinct, so I'm I'm curious whether or not it's good or not. All right, so uh, Jetpack. Oh, Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.8. I, I guess we could play that. Um, Near Automata is on here too. I'm really curious whether that's good or not. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and play some Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2.8, final chapter, prologue. So I've already played a little bit of 3. I hate it, but now I'm playing, like, 2.8 Pro. Like, why the fuck was this even made? Like, can anybody can anybody explain this? Like, why the fuck did they make something called 2.8 Prologue? Like, the Kingdom Hearts naming conventions are the worst thing ever. They're just... They're just awful. They are the absolute worst. I, I hate them, and I just... <sighs> So I hated Kingdom Hearts 3, I hated Kingdom Hearts 2, so let's see if a 2.8 final chapter prologue is worth it. Uh, Alright. Say so some file will be created. Da da da, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Dream Dot Distance HD. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the 3DS one, so I've been meaning to play that for a while. I wanted to at least try it. Uh, that was actually the game, playing the demo for that is kind of what made me, convince me to not get the series, because this was a, a Nintendo game on 3DS, and, uh, I remember being really, really hyped for it, and then, like, I played the demo, and I was just like, nah, we're not getting into this. Did they really release this bullshit? Like, as its own release? Like, who the fuck? Alright. Fuck. Uh, alright, I guess we're playing Dream Drop Distance. So wait, wait, wait a minute. Is are they really? Is Square really going to re-release Kingdom Hearts games when like they're uh, for free on Game Pass? Like, are, are they ever seriously going to be able to release Kingdom Hearts games again? I don't think they will be. All right. So I've never played I've never played three Ds, but uh, Disney Interactive Studios, Square Enix. Kingdom Hearts was only good when it was Squaresoft, which was only the first one, uh, for those of you who aren't aware. The original is, like, one of my favorite games of all time, and it's so frustrating how they've, like, botched it to this extent, where, like, it's basically... Anything after the original is basically unplayable. Oh, hey, look, it's Mickey. Uh-huh, I'm gonna ruin some other uh, classic... Classic animated films, uh-huh. Uh... Seriously, like, all of the, like, all the Disney remakes I am aware of have been, like, awful. Like, Beauty and the Beast, awful. Uh, I don't, I don't get this. Like, Lion King I hear is awful. Like, I don't get who's going to see these movies, because I'm not going to see them. Like, nobody I know is going to see them. Like, why are they making so much money? And why are they immediately forgotten afterward? It's just, uh, like, seriously, like, I, I can't even remember, I can't even keep track of everything they made. Like, they made a Jungle Book one. They made, like, a, uh, an Aladdin one? Like, does anybody remember the Aladdin one? Didn't that come out last year? Uh, the Lion King came out. Does anybody remember that? Like, does anybody care about, like, uh, the Little Mermaid with Black Ariel? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, just, uh, what the fuck? Is anybody looking forward to that? Oh, hey, OG Kyrie, the, uh, <laughs> the only good design of the character. Okay, okay, I love OG Kyrie, but, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, the worst redesign of a character I think I've ever seen in my life. Well, maybe Riku from Final Fantasy... I, I don't know. Final Fantasy X-2 is its own caliber. Like, you can't really put them, like, side by side in that regard. But, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I like Kyrie's original look. I do. I like, but no. Yeah. 
And you, you'll notice that, like, the game, like... Aw, oh, I love that. Nomine, aw. Oh. Doesn't, like, Nomine have nothing to do with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3? Like, I was looking up, like, some information about the plot of Kingdom Hearts 3, and, like, Nomine apparently isn't... Axel, you're being a... You're being a third wheel here. Uh, John, oh. So yeah, everything past the original is garbage. Uh, I hate these, like, newer characters. Other than, like, Roxas and Nomine, I think they're likable enough, but, uh... They really should have just kept it to those two, I think. Like, Organization 13 are terrible antagonists. I, I've talked about this extensively, but I hate Organization 13. Um, honestly, like, I hate Riku after... I, actually, I hate all the protagonists after two. After the original. Uh, Sora becomes, like, really annoying. Riku loses, like, all semblance of a personality. And uh, Kairi is just sort of there. Or not even that, too. Like, she's, she's not present at all. Like, d does anybody notice this? Like, I, I noticed people bring this up when it came to Kingdom Hearts 3, but uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, like, for 90% of it, 95%, well, probably more like 85% of it, like, 85% of the entire game, like, Kyrie is not there. Like, she is a non-presence. Like, the main girl of the series, you know, the girl you spent the entire first game trying to rescue from the forces of darkness, the Heartless, She's not present in two, like, at all. Like, the entire thing is about, like, Sora's, like, apparently... Apparently huge gay crush on Riku, but... Like, the entire thing is just, like, Riku, Riku, Riku! Oh, and Kairi, too. I don't know, it, it was kind of weird in, like, the first game where, like, Sora was always going around talking shit about, like, my friends, my friends, my friends, and it doesn't give a thought to, like, his mom at all. Like, gotta love how his mom is, like, a confirmed entity that does exist, and, and like, in the in this entire fucking 20 series that's been going on for 20 years, we still have no idea what she even looks like. But anyway, uh... Yeah, we're playing on standard, um... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is so easy, but, uh, alright. Kingdom Hearts 3 is, like, brain-dead simple. Like, just, ah. Uh, hate Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, be sure to be sure to buy my books on blackcatbooks.org. Thank you. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You want to fill me in? Oh, no, Zigbar. Oh, no, one of the hey, most exciting characters from Kingdom Hearts 2. Or? <laughs> Wait. Did you never lose your memory? That's not oh, my no. name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> That's not my name. It's Xehanorta. Xehanorta. Right. My name is Ansem. Oh, yeah. One of the worst ret retcons in gaming history. Trying to pretend that Ansem isn't actually Ansem. Like, pure, stupid bullshit. But how far could a raft take us? That doesn't sound like Sora. Well, OG Sora. Fuck. If we have to, we'll think of something else. <sighs> did they really... Uh, did they really record his lines with the older... Okay, shit. Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Wait, right. wait, 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 what? Wait, when did this happen? Yeah. And why isn't Kyrie there? Okay. Uh, Riku! Hey. I'm fine. Yeah. What's that? Wait, when the fuck did this happen? Oh, wait. Oh, hey, look! Holy uh, shit! An actual Disney no, character? I was not expecting that. Wow, this is already better than Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, not that I was expecting it wasn't. But how is this the test? Come on. You can work it out later. Alright. Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick. What trick? Uh, oh whatever. Oh that's right, that's right. So this is during the uh, the process where Sora is like learning how to how to fight, like. So he's going through like the training. Yeah, yeah. So Sora went through, like, two games, like, becoming a Keyblade Master, but apparently, oh, that's not good enough. So, like, three is just him going through this, like, anime training montage so he can, like, fight some guy. Like, it's really dumb. Like, uh... you can't toy with me. You like, here's the thing. Like, Kingdom Hearts was never shonen. Like, it was never, like, about, like, Sora becoming more powerful. 
Like, it just... I, I don't get why... They tried to do that. Alright, uh... Holy shit, they mapped the spells to different buttons? That's way better than... Yeah, that's way better than what the, uh... Oops, ah, shit. Yeah, that's way better than what 3 does, yeah. This plays more like the original. Oh, yeah, this is definitely better than 3. Holy shit, it's so much better. We actually have a functional magic system. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, that alone makes it better than, like, 2 and 3. Like, damn. Alright, um... Why is it these Nintendo ones are so much better than the uh, than their uh, opposition? Like, you can actually use magic in this game? Like, what is this sorcery? Alright, uh... Anyway. Why is Urs... Okay. I mean, I, I hate this shit, like, they've been doing since, like, Chain of Memories, where, like, these spin-off games are just you fighting characters that aren't actually them. Like, I don't know, like, why are the Disney characters, like, treated the way they are? Like, they don't really have any bearing on the plot at all. They're just sort of there for, like, aesthetic reasons. It's, it's weird. Like, this is, like, you're not fighting the real Ursula. You're fighting, like, some pale imitation of her. Like, like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts, okay, got it. Yeah, that was actually fun. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, better than three for sure. Three was pure shit from the get-go, but this was uh, a lot better. Yeah, I actually had fun with that. Wow. Uh. When you walk away, you can't hear them say, please, oh baby. Oh, wait, huh? Oh, wait, we beat the boss, and do we fail even though we won? Like, come the fuck on, are you serious? Uh. I thought he just aged, and his voice just changed. But did they change the actor? Like, I know they changed Kyrie to three, which is very, very unfortunate. Not only did they ruin her character design, they ruined her voice too. Oh, explain how KX1 is good and KX2 sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one actually has. Um... One actually has good level design, it has good has combat, it has, uh, you know, good boss fights. Like, it's basically just better. It actually incorporates the Disney aspects. Like, everything about, uh, everything about the original is superior to 2. Like, 2 is just flashier. Uh, to me, if you think 2 is better, you don't understand, like, the fundamentals of what makes these games fun. Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our really past were it's in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, yeah, he Square has Enix made a protector of the light. For sure. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I used to like Q a lot, uh, but as an adult, like every time I go back to play it, like I, I end up hating it more and more. But meanwhile, I like the original. Be ready. Like just as much as Which I ever did. In fact, more so. Um, so. Are to be tested for the mark of a true like I think everything about the original master. is significantly better than two. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, Very whatever. Is that why I got to level 100, had Ultima way. Weapon, and beat Ansem the first time? Like, fuck Both you, Sid. You fuck you, Yensen. Blade wielders. An impressive feat. However, 
The time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions. Forget what you know about the Keyblade and begin your training again. <laughs> so, so is he trying to like uh, manipulate us to go down? Like, but that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything, right? Yeah, the, the training thing seems. I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying Doesn't, like, colors. Riku pass and Sora doesn't? Like, it just, uh... Very well, then. Uh, anyway, Sora and Riku. it's not worth following along the plot line with these games because it, it's complete begin. nonsense. Glossary Keyblades. Glossary Keyblade Masters. Why do they use the fonts from Kingdom Hearts 2? Why? Uh, I don't understand why it rehashes all these weird elements. All right. I'm just glad we're using the KH1 uh, sword design. Oh, no. What the fuck is this? Uh dive mode. In this minigame, you take down enemies and collect prizes as you fall at high speed. What the fuck is with you? I hate Kingdom Hearts minigames. They are the worst. Okay. I don't understand how they... <sighs> well, to be, to be honest, it's probably better than uh, the gummy ship space. Stages. I'm not even exaggerating. The gummy step st ship stages have always been awful, and they've never been able to fix them. Like I don't understand why. Like like all these games in, they've never been able to make the gummy section fun. Like ever. Uh, I'm just happy I'm playing as KF one solo. Why it's called Dream Drop Distance? Because you drop into dreams and like fall a great distance to get there? Like, what the fuck are they thinking? Like, uh, what a stupid thing to name. Like, again, like Kingdom Hearts games. I don't know, man. It, it does feel better than Kingdom Hearts 3. I like the combat more. I like the, uh, the die. I like it. I seem to like this, these aspects more. Oh, Traverse Town. Oh no, I got a new outfit. Shit. Oh, this is the one with Neku. Huh? This is great. Yeah, this is this is like fucking Namura Travis being full on like full on like hey, like self elation just bullshit. It must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. I mean, if he doesn't change your clothes, who will? I mean shit. It's nice to be back in Traverse Town, wow. A level that really shouldn't have fucked off. Honestly, like, Traverse Town should have been, uh... But, what happened to Riku? Do we really need Twilight Town? Riku! Hello! I don't know, I like Twilight Town just Riku! fine, but... Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! That's yeah, Neku, Ollie, shit. Hey, that's not a Disney character. Sora, right? Oh, the good thing about this game, we get to see Shiki. Yeah, but... Uh, Holy fucking you know shit, that? is he small? Look at his fucking waist. Looks like you're not a player. Sh a player? <laughs> Damn, that dude. Way to be awkward. In the game, players get marked with the time limit. Why are you explaining how the world ends with you works? I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? It's Look, just terrible. Sorry. You're no good. You're Why'd you even player. stop to explain and yourself, Neku? Someone else. <sighs> okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I Why did he even stop me, me if he already has a partner? Now we're friends? It's not that <sighs> easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. 
Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Whoa. Neku's not in three, is he? I don't think so. Uh, I can't believe they shoved the, the characters into this shit. Like, what were they thinking? Like, they get rid of the Final Fantasy characters, but oh, let's throw in the World Ends With You cast. Like, shit. So yeah, for those... Okay. Flow motion. Use L and X to slide into a wall or pull, and you want to throw flow motion. On flow motion, you can press B to jump, or X again and press B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When was this made? 2012? Yeah, yeah, I really like that. That feels a lot better than Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I, I mean, 3. You don't always have to slide into flow motion. You can use some objects like handrails and ropes just by landing on them. Jump onto the rail to kick into flow motion. All right. Uh, so now I'm a pro skater. Right. Yeah, flow motion is actually fun, so... Um... That's just the tip of the iceberg. Not sure where to go? Go with the flow. Flow mission basics confirmed. All right. This rail wasn't here on the original, was it? No chrono trigger? Well, no, Nomura never did the art for that. So uh, that's why I said it was self elation because uh, Nomura did the artwork for uh, The World Ends With You. Actually, he, like, produced the entire thing. So uh, it's just him, like, trying to, like, to sell you on this, uh, this uh, IP that fucking atrocious. I hate the world's ending with you with a passion. Um, it's like everything bad about Kingdom Hearts, but like condensed into like a new IP. So it's just like, holy shit. It's even more frustrating in a lot of ways. Because there are ideas that like really could have worked. Like like I, like I said, I really, really love uh, Shiki's plotline. Like Shiki is legit, like probably one of the most engaged I've ever been with, uh, with a uh, with a Nomura protagonist. Use reality shit to launch the barrels. What the fuck is this shit? Well, anyway. Uh... Okay, whatever. Uh, way to give me a tutorial. Should I move on? Like, do I need to do it again? Or, like, where, am I, yeah. where do I need to go? Oh, fine. Shit. Uh, yeah. Hey, I whoa, whoa. What's your name? Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Oh, no. Right. I knew that. So is like Neku a real person or what? Like, how does this work? What? Don't okay. let him surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku Sakuraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. Hey, shut up! <laughs> shut up, Sora. Hey, Neku. Let's take him. <laughs> Ugh. Does Neku just run off? Oh, because he's not a party member? Alright. Yeah, I think I will play through this one. Uh, so this might actually be a good replacement for two. Uh, you can use it in combat. I don't like the tutorials, though. Uh, that's kind of unnecessary. I mean, they're quick, but there's a lot of them. Like, other than that, I'm not really having any real problems with this so far. Like, I had, like, a bunch of problems with KH2, like, from the get- uh, three from the get-go. Well, to be honest, like, this might be, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, where, like, it starts off pretty strongly, but then yeah. goes to shit. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people who, like, really, really likes the, uh, the intro, the, uh, the tutorial to Kingdom Hearts 2, so. That's actually the highlight of the game for me. Um, I legit think that's one of the most best written, like, suspense stories ever. It's so good. Like, pro it's probably unintentional, but I just, I just love it. I just love the atmosphere. I just love everything about it. Um, I hate how it, like, shifts 
potions, though. That's kind of weird. The way that the, the combat thing kind of rolls over to potions when you, like, use a spell, that's kind of, that's kind of stupid. I feel like it would be really easy to use potions by accident. It's, it's amazing how terrible Kingdom Hearts 3 was, like, playing this again, like... You can kind of tell, like, just, just popping this in, like, wow, it's, it's classic KH combat. Like, enemies will actually attack you. Like, you don't have, like, these crazy, like, these crazy combos with crazy ranges anymore. Like, you, you just... Okay. Yeah, like, the kind of... The combat to, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is, like, I don't know, like, God of War tier. Like, it, it's just it's just pure shit. It's, I don't know why it's so bad. Like, like, I legit think that, like, easy mode on, like, the original is probably harder than, like, hard mode in, in 3. Like, it, it's, it's that crazy. It's that radically different. I don't know why... I think, like, hardcore players uh, have noticed, but... Wait. Oh, here we go. Hang on, wait, shit, hang on. I think hardcore fans have noticed, but I think, like... I'm not sure, like, how normies feel about Kingdom Hearts 3. I really don't. Because I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but, uh... I think it was the hardcore fans who were looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3, so... I mean, since 3 alienated, like, pretty much everyone, uh... Yeah, flow motion is actually a really good addition. Uh, I'm, I'm really, I really enjoy that, as opposed to three, which is just garbage. Okay, okay, real talk. How exactly is Kingdom Hearts three so terrible? Like, what did they do? Like, is it just because they redesigned the world structure? Like, I don't. Did they not work on the combat at all? Did they think that like, oh, the worlds are bigger, people won't mind? To be fair, though, okay, that is one of the Kingdom Hearts three strong points. The worlds really are stronger. With you. They're dream eaters too. Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts Pokemon. I've, I've heard that. Uh, wait. I have heard this is Pokemon, yeah. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off. They haven't re-released Sonic 06 ever. Like, are they ever going to release that thing? Like, they're going to have to do a Sonic collection, right? You could bridge these gaps. That's probably going to be their 30th anniversary thing. Sonic, uh, Sonic anniversary. Like, I would not mind a re-release of like Sonic Advance or Rush or. But your new goals. The sleeping keyholes are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds. Yeah, I don't back think Sonic Heroes us, has been re-released at all, so ever. So uh, completely. I would not mind rebuying that because uh, I've never been able to finish it because uh, the PS2 version I have is completely broken. Like I like a couple of years back, I spent like I don't know, like a couple of days trying to uh, to beat it, and like I realized like. That version of the game like has such has such severe frame rate drops during like the the bonus stage seconds you can't actually one hundred percent it. Nightmares Ugh. which devour happy dreams and benevolent spirits which consume the nightmares. The dream eaters will guide you, just as the heartless once guided you. Dream eaters? The <laughs> they name the enemies after a move move in Pokemon. World. Like, are you serious? Ah. How unoriginal can you get? There's a fan-made Sonic 06 remaster? What? Are you fucking serious? Sonic fans are crazy devoted, man. Like, I've never played Sonic 06. I have no interest in it. Uh, I'd say it's reaching the point of being obscure, because I haven't heard anyone bitching about that in years. Like, about a decade. Uh, great spirit. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. So it's like Shin Megami Tensei? What the fuck is this shit? Alright.
cat or dog? It's called a Meow Wow. It's a cat. Like, come the fuck on. Okay. Give your new spirit a name. Oh, what should I name it? Uh, it's the first, therefore the weakest. Uh, spirit I'm gonna collect in this game, so, uh... There we go. Perfect. Oh, wait, how do I go? Do... There we go. Looks like you and Fratanga PC are off to a great start. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> uh, sure, buddy, sure. Say hello to your new spirit. Spirits will help you in combat. Give them lots of TLC to increase your affinity. And you will be dealing <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm starting to forget the name choice now, because uh, that's the exact opposite of what I want. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, don't gotta pet it. Oh no. It's a fucking Nintendo dog. I'm sorry, a Nintendo cat. By the way, uh Nintendo dogs need to uh wait, I thought Okay, uh Wow. So you have to play with it like a Nintendo. We need we need we need a new Nintendo dogs on uh, Nintendo Switch. I don't know what they're what they're doing, but that that needs to make it be a thing. Like we we are long overdue for Nintendo dogs. Like I love me some Nintendo dogs, but uh, they just have not. Unlock a new power. Ability link critical. Uh, okay, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't need the tutorials. I just want to play the game. I want to fight the next boss, okay? Uh, I'm sick of the tutorials. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sonic. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, uh, What should I play after this? Uh, I keep. Holy shit! It's that late already. Damn! I've been playing for a while. I brought you Sora. We had a bargain. Wait, what? What's the matter, Neku? <laughs> Neku? Oh, come the fuck on. What a fucking... He betrayed... Five no seconds way. into the game, and he immediately betrays hey, you? That wasn't the deal. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Don't, Neku. They're too dangerous. What the fuck is this? So, like, Neku, like, betray... Okay, so you meet Neku, he betrays you, and then he, like turns on the guy he betrayed you to in like five seconds like what the fuck is this shit like ah damn Ugh. damn oh no i gotta play wait what why do i have to play as riku now wait i fucking hate riku no stop Riku is like the original video game cuck. He has to be like... Did I make a... I, I think I made a list of like the top 10 cucks. I, I don't I don't remember if I did. Uh, if I did, uh, Riku would be on it. Uh, I mean, he should be on it. I, I can't think of anyone else. Uh, yeah, Riku is like... Riku is like top tier like video game cuck. So it's just... Unbelievable. The entire first game is about him, like, trying to get Kyrie to like him and failing, like, in the most epic way imaginable. Like, he literally does, like, he literally, like, soul sells his soul to the forces of darkness to get Kyrie to like him, and uh, it doesn't work. Like, really, like, fucking bullshit. Like, what, what a piece of shit Riku is. It's just, what a cuck. All right. 
it's really weird too, because like, if you really think about it, like, uh, Riku should be like the Chad in this situation, but because like he's so he's so like hell bent on like Kyrie specifically, and he's so jealous of Sora, like he becomes the virgin, he becomes the cuck. It's just it, it's kind of a good kind of kind of a good example of how you can uh, how like uh, how it's like Chad is basically. Being a Chad is basically just a mindset. Huh? Like I say that all the time, but it's true. Am I in? Oh no! Traverse Town? Is that exactly where you were standing in the My first game? My have changed. Ugh. Sora, where are you? <sighs> I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So. This must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. Huh? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? Ah, fuck off, my Joshua. My name is Joshua. I hate what you so much. What do you so mean, much? portal? Are we just uh, skipping past the part where you tell me your name? No, turn away. Don't don't put up with his bullshit. Hello there, Joshua Riku. is a piece of shit. Portals like ignore him. Are like gateways that uh, link what a up fucking tool. Like, shit. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now? Well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split. Shut the half. fuck up, Joshua. Portals okay, yeah, I'm not like listening us. to this. Uh, let me get caught up in the chat. Okay, there so how many two of the world? The world okay, so I played uh, one, two, uh, three, five, eight days over two. It's hard to keep track because I played the collections. Uh, I tried to play Canon Memories. Uh, I gave up on it because it was shit. Uh, I didn't really play Birth by Sleep. Yeah, so I played, I think, most of them. I don't trust. I mean, I, I played most of them available in the collections, like the main ones at least. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side. Who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. You know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. He doesn't know Sora. Just, just go away. Ignore him. But unfortunately, shit, I he'll shoot you too. <sighs> if he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Don't Simple listen to his life. shit, Riku. Just uh. okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. <sighs> Fuck. Now I gotta fuck around with fucking... I love how they shove, like, the uh, the world ends with you characters, like, right at the beginning, so you have to put up with them. Like, they're not... I can't, they aren't. They aren't, like, a secret world. Like, if you play this game, if you pop it in and, like, play it for, like, ten minutes, you are going to see the world ends with you characters. And I just hate that so much. It's so bad. Like, even the original didn't do that with the Final Fantasy cast. Like, for the first ten minutes, you're mostly fucking around with Sora, Riku, and Kairi. The original cast. Uh... So you play as Riku for this one uh, a lot. Uh... You, play, you play as him in 3 as well, occasionally, but uh, I'm not sure how frequent that is. But... I don't know. So wait, like, Sora and Riku, like, level up separately? Like, fucking really? Uh... Defeat all the spirits. Uh, okay. I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying the gameplay, actually. A lot more than I thought I would. I thought it would be, like, terrible, but, uh, after three, this is, like, a breath of fresh air. Like, shit. Like, three, like, five hours in, I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not playing this game. Uh, the one good thing I will say about three, the one good thing about three, it did finally motivate me to watch Tangled, and it was legitimately really, really good. Uh, I, I, I love Tangled. Uh, Tangled is great. Uh, Challenge failed. Wait, what? How did I fail? Wait, was I was I on a time limit? Wait, what was the deal? Achieve victory in twenty seconds or less. Okay, so I failed. Uh, can I move on? I want to fight like enemies. I don't want to like see. I don't want to see like the world ends with you. I don't want to see like any other. Yeah. I just want to like smash away and like. Do this shit like 
that looks suspiciously like Heartless. Like, why? This is another thing that irks me. Like, why do they need to constantly like invent new enemy types? Like, just just have the Heartless. That's all you needed. Like, you didn't need the Nobodies. You didn't need these Dream Leaders. You didn't need the Unversed. You didn't need shit. You just needed the Heartless and more varieties of them. Like, shit. Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? Because uh, he's not on screen. Ah. They won't go out because he's Jesus. No, uh. Which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams. Shut up, Joshua. But they're definitely attacking me. <laughs> so, you think I'm a dreamer? What the fuck does Every this mean? Every being is a dreamer. Uh. I had a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything, but it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. Was that Neku? You sort of remind me ah. of him. What? <laughs> kind of like half-ass comparison there. In this world, they take form as dream eaters. You're exactly like Neku, Riku. Uh, if someone was a big fan of you, Riku, I'm sure they would be a big fan of uh, Neku Sakuraba from The World's Ends With You. I'm sure if they like Kingdom Hearts, they would love The World's Ends With You. Uh, please go out and buy The World's Ends With The World Ends With You on Nintendo Switch. Please. Please, I'm begging you. I want to make a sequel. Please, I'm desperately, I'm desperate to make a sequel. All right, Kamori Bat. Uh, what should I name this one? Uh, okay. Create the spirit. Uh. Oh, hey, Killer Instinct is done. Should I play some Killer Instinct? Uh. Yeah. There's no other. There's no other name for it. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. Oh wait, no, gold bat. What am I talking about? Gold bat? Like, it was like the uh, it was the gold color that made me think like, oh, gold. But now it's gold bat. All right. It does kind of look like one, doesn't it? Just without the. Oh no! It looks more like the. Uh, fuck. It looks more like the other one. Uh, the one with the nose. I just. I, fuck. I. Damn, I don't even. I, I defaulted to Gen 1 and I completely forgot about the, the now, more Joshua. similar one from Gen 5. Oh, fuck. Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belong. Shut up, R Reed. Shut up, Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's. I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, alright? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go! Dream Eaters! What? What? Ugh, man, not cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think I'm fine the way uh, things are going now. Yeah, Tangled's uh, really, really good because it tackles subjects like uh, abusive parents and things like that. I, I think it's a uh, good viewing for anyone. Honestly. I mean, it's a Disney movie. Nobody's gonna judge you for watching it. Oops. And even if they did, fuck them, right? Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. This yeah, I'm ready to play something else. Yeah, yeah, you when said it, Beat. Damn. I'd be worn out too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. Wasn't you just trying I to like go it. after Joshua? Ah. Uh, Why am I saying? Right, whatever. I'm so sleepy. Flashback to Keyblade War. Yeah, let's skip it. I don't, I don't care about the plot. I really don't. Like, I, I'll play this for the gameplay, but I legit think I would. Uh, and if if I wasn't busy making fun of the cast, I probably would just skip skip all the gutscenes. Uh, Where is he? So yeah, I, I definitely want to play this one. Uh, 
I might go back and play Birth by Sleep too, actually. Uh, now that I think about gone. it, because I've heard that one's good as well. But I don't know. I before I fell asleep. I, I guess I was just burned out in Neku Kingdom Hearts when I got that to that one. That creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? No, he that wants. Uh, he just wants to. He wants just. He just wants Shiki's body. We never even. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, the other girl's body. <laughs> I guess I should just take uh. a look around. All right. Uh, dropping between characters. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, does anybody else feel that way? That like it's kind of weird that like Neku and that girl kind of. Yeah. Kind of form a thing, even though that that girl like looks completely different in real life. It's like it's like talking to a girl in like an MMO, when like you don't fucking know what she actually looks like. Like, wh why would you ever do that? Like, ever? It's, it's stupid. All right, hang on. Where's the uh, save point? Yeah. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Hey. Yeah. 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 Hey. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Ha. All right. I think I'm ready to play something else. Uh. What? I should have a look around. Yeah, I want the save point. Where is the save point? Wait. Hang on. Hey. Ah, shit. Wait, look around where? Oh, here we go. Uh, do I need to kill all these guys? What's the deal with that? Hey. Right. Yeah. Alright, uh, oh, oops. Hang on, how do you do the flow motion thing? Oh, yeah, so it's jump and X. Alright. Yeah, flow motion is so satisfying to use. I love it a lot. I gotta get in the habit of doing it again, though. Oh. Your spirit seems to be onto something. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play this again. I'm definitely enjoying this a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, honestly, like this might be the best one since the original. Uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, gameplay-wise, I think it's. Uh, I think the, co the combat like feels like the original. It doesn't have the bullshit that two has, at least not yet. Uh, flow motion is a great addition. Uh, yeah, overall, like I, I'm uh, feeling pretty positive towards this one. Um, yeah, like why am I just now playing all the good games? Like yesterday, I was playing nothing but shit like all day, and now I'm. Now I started finding good, finding good shit. Uh, so yeah, Dishonored 2, uh, this, and uh, Resident Evil 7, I think. Honestly, I, I need to focus and get Resident Evil 7 done. Uh, yeah, it'd be great if I could find a safe point. Yeah, 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 I think I'm gonna spend uh, the rest of the day like watching uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes and maybe writing Rabbit Hole. Oh, here we go. Here's a Moogle. Yes. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. All right. Sh what is with these potions? All right. Okay. Is this the only game where you go into a save point and press A to save? What the fuck? Not the triangle. Not the up button. Like shit. All right. I, I guess it's different on a. Uh, I guess it's different on uh, the Xbox controller, but I mean, this was made for 3DS, so that might doesn't have to do with it. Killer Instinct is ready to start. Uh, yeah, why don't we try Killer Instinct? Um, yeah, what else do we have here? Uh, yeah, definitely playing that. Definitely playing Fable. Uh, yeah, Killer Instinct. Uh, yeah, definitely going to play that. Ugh. Yeah, I've never played this uh, game before, so I'm kind of curious uh, how uh, how well uh, well how well it holds up. Because like it got a lot of hype from uh, Killer Instinct fanboys when it first came out, but I I doubt it's any good. Uh, after the Battletoads remake, like I am uh, I am so so apprehensive of 
of anything Rareware puts out. Like, I just... <sighs> Killer Instinct. Syncing to Ultratech servers, checking downloadable content, and syncing shadows. Do they really not give you DLC? Like, what were they thinking? Like, they don't give you DLC for... Why? That doesn't make any sense. Just... Stylus Gages. You have unlocked a character for Gargos? Who the fuck is Gargos? Well, anyway. Uh... I guess I should get a drink. Oh, here we go. Okay, single player. Uh, let's see here. Combo assist system. Combo assist. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Daily loot. Loot? What the fuck? Who cares about loot? Okay. Challenge AI. Uh, player versus CPU. Shadow Lab story. There's a story mode in this? Uh, let's see if the gameplay is any good. Then we'll try the other modes. Uh, okay, Jago. Saber Wolf. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? They haven't been installed yet? How long does it take to... Okay. If, if, if a game was ready to start, you would have... Wow, that is just awful. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a little bit, I think. Uh, before playing Killer Instinct. Until, like, it actually loads. Like, what the fuck? It says ready to start, but, like, the entire roster... Like, none of the roster is playable. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Anyway, uh, should I play some Ninja Gaiden? Nier Automata? I'm expecting to like Nier Automata and Yakuza Kiwami a lot, a lot. So, uh... Yeah, I might as well get started in Kiwami. Uh, I've never played this game before. Should I do it on stream? I think I should. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, actually. So, uh... Yakuza is, so it might be fun. Uh... <laughs> A lot of people that shit talk by Kiwami, but uh, I don't. I don't. I didn't really want to get my uh, PS2 out to play the original like release, so I, I decided like let's go ahead and buy it. Honestly, it felt more like elitism because uh, when a game is legitimately worse, like people will tell you why. Like Ninja Gaiden Sigma is worse than Black, and uh, people will tell you why. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll play normal. This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is a purely coincidental. Alright, sure, whatever. Fuck yeah, Yakuza! October 1st, 1995. Fate of a Kinslayer. Doesn't the Zero take place in the 80s? How does, how does the Zero continuity work? Anyway, whatever. I have not played a good Yakuza game. In a while. The last one I played was three and I didn't enjoy it too much, so. Yeah, I've been streaming for like four hours, so I think I am about ready to uh, stop and have a snack. I'll uh, read a book, probably. Oh, 
Oh no, Kuryu, what are you doing? Ah, oh, fuck. So much for never killing a man, huh? Ugh. Aw, oh, careful, Kuryu. Uh, you're dealing with a bunch of racists. Uh, Can we just take a moment to uh, talk shit about, like, uh, Black Lives Matter? And uh, specifically, like, the really black viewpoint that uh, the cops are out to get them. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird. Why are you the only demographic in the United States that has problems with the police? It can't be because you're committing more crimes than any other any other group in the group of people in the, in the United States. Like, that, that surely has nothing to do with it. Uh, Shinji Tanaka of the Dojima family. Kazuma Kuryu, Lieutenant Advisor of the Dojima family. A Toja clan subsidiary. All right. どこのやつらなんだ。その取り立てないと。すぐ近くの町金です。オッケー。ところが金利すら <laughs> I don't think so. Kazuma Kuryu doesn't have sex. Alright, uh... He's too cool for that shit, right. uh, Damn, it's been a while since I played one of these games. Damn, look at this garbage, shit. Peace finance sucks. Those interest those interest rates, man. Tenkaichi Island. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ugh. I love Yakuza 5, but shit, I I, I haven't gotten into a lot of the other games. So. Yeah, maybe there's so much like dialogue in this. I'm not sure how much fun this would be to to watch, honestly. Like maybe this is should be one of those games I don't. I read so quickly. It's あ、いや。まさか桐生さんが直々に。要件は昨日うちの若いのが伝えたはずだ。明日明日まで待ってください。お願いします。夜逃げの準備しながら言われてもおい。いい加減にしろよ。殺すんですか何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何何
Like, they talk all this shit about, like, Yakuza 7 and, like, oh, we need to, we need to innovate. Like, here's what you do. Here's what you do. You make the combat different. Like, that's, that's all you need. Like, shit. It's not even that it's bad. It's just been the same for so long. All right. Yes, I, I I know how to play the game. I, I played a Yakuza game before. All right. Take these loan sharks back. Take that, Harada, you piece of shit. Got him. <laughs> so satisfying. Now, this is a 95, apparently. It's a 95. I got the money. So he had the money? Pay what you owe. Ugh. When you don't pay your debts. Oh, wow. Collect the money owned. Okay. そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そういえば、ネシキ、はい。そうい
God, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Damn, I love these games so much. Agora. Gora Majima. Patriarch of the Majima family. あ。えらい。ええ、女らしいの。みんな言うとるで。一度あんな女こましてみたいってね。それより、この子、どないしようか。すいません。まさか、キリュさんと。いえ、いいんだ。甘いな、キリュちゃん。甘々や。けじめは
Oh no. Oh. Oh. Let's get back to the bar. Uh, was it this way? Ah, here it is. Uh. Hey, what? Shit. Ah, here we go. That door looked completely unremarkable. I あなたたちが一応怖くて飲めないでしょ普通のお客さん。だから今日は貸し切り。例の弓は今買い出しに行ってるの。どうせまた腹減ったとか言い出すんでしょ。違いね。どうなんだ。気流組の立ち上げは。
ねえねえさっきお客さんと偶然誕生日の話題になったんだけど今度ユミちゃんの誕生日でしょ二人はちゃんと準備してあるのプレゼントえああそういえばもうそんな時期かバカお前忘れてたのかよああ、he went full back up 最近忙しかったからさそういう錦山くんはもう何か用意してるのもちろん弓に似合いそうなピンクダイヤのネックレスまあなんだか高そうねまあな何ヶ月も前から予約していてやっと手に入ったんだ実は今日渡そうと思ってちゃんとあーねあーねシキそれじゃあパーティーしましょうよおそれならいいケーキ屋知ってるから俺買ってくるよ本当助かるわお願いねキリュウちゃんはどうするのなあまた今度ってわけにはいかねえかそんなのダメよまだ間に合うから今すぐ用意したら<笑>そんな急に言われてもなあ,あ<笑>ねえそれじゃあ指輪なんてどうえ ?What? <笑> What? いいんじゃねえのさすがレーナ、無難なチョイスだ。<笑>それはどうもどんな指輪がいいんだろうなそれくらい自分で考えろよ。俺は手伝わねえからな。そう難しく考えなくても、気持ちがこもってれば何でもいいのよ。うん、yeah, probably should save it and play something else. I'm really enjoying this, but、uh, this really isn't something I want to play on stream. もうしょうがない。あれって。フランスの有名なブランドのゆこの前ユミちゃんと一緒に雑誌にほうねえそうだな All right、uh, getting a ring All right <laughs> He forgot her birthday All right Get the ring All right、uh... All right, so, what should I play after this? Does anybody have any recommendations?、Uh, where are the save points?、Uh, phone booths, right? So,、uh, where are they? Oh, come on! Wait, what? Is there no map? Wait, wait. there it is.、Uh, here we go. There's one down the street. Oh. Right in front of me, actually. I didn't even have to look at the map. I need to pay more attention to the fucking、uh, mini map. It's the same in every game ever. I'm not sure why I keep ignoring it. Yes, I know I, know I can save the game. Okay, so what should I play next?、Uh, we did save, right? Okay, it's, it's good. Alright. Alright, so that's a.、Uh, Great game, I highly recommend it.、Uh, Yakuza is a great franchise, I love it a lot. I, I just don't think I want to play it on stream.、Uh, should I go back to Banjo Kazooie? Because、uh, I do want to keep playing games. I think I'll like, order a pizza or some shit and then、uh, just wait for the Nier Automata. Should I do that?、Uh... Should I play Nier or should I、uh, play something else? I think I should go ahead and play Nier. I don't know. I'm playing a lot of other stuff right now.、Uh... No, I might as well get through Banjo Kazooie since I've been playing. I don't know. Banjo Kazooie or Nier? What do you think, chat? I'm really curious about Nier. I've been wanting to play it for years, but. Fable 1.、Uh, yeah, I, I've been playing a little bit of Fable. I like it a lot.、Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll.、Uh, holy shit, five hours? Wow, I've been streaming for a while.、Uh, 
Um, yeah, Fable 1 is... Uh, I am enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would because I thought that... Uh, I thought that, like... Uh, well, everything I've heard about the game has always been about, like, the hype cycle and about how, like, the creator lied about it. Like, he was a uh, full-on Sean Murray before he was Sean Murray. Uh, I've heard... I've heard that, but actually playing it, I don't think it's all that bad. I mean, going by my uh, experience with it, I think it's just I think it's just okay. Oops. Uh... So yeah, I'll play some people one. I don't know what it's with these smart glass features. Uh. All right, we'll go ahead and. Uh, Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, ah, beetles. I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Oh, I thought I already did this. What? Oh, shit, so I didn't save? Wait, hang on. Hang on. Come and see me when you're... Did it not save properly, or did I... Yeah, I saved it in like so it must have auto saved, okay, and then it didn't auto save again. So then I saved it legitimately, and then like the auto save doesn't the the well, legitimate save doesn't override the auto save. Is that how it works? Is that? That's kind of the impression I'm getting right now. So I played a little bit of it. I, I played a little bit of this to uh, decide how I liked the way it was going. Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest thing ever or anything, but I didn't think it was awful. Like, it's just nice or something. Good work, lad. Oh, come on. Really? So it didn't, okay. 
Why did it checkpoint the here? Was now the boy's life. All right, whatever. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than trap, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of... We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. All right, let's 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 go ahead and play this. Sorry, I, I just realized my Twitter blew up and I'm responding to this. Uh, yeah, I am getting hungry. I'm trying to decide what I want. Like, what do I want to eat? So I've done this already, but like for some reason it didn't save properly. I don't I don't understand it. So I guess I have to do the do this segment again. I wasn't too far into it, but like I, I did like a lot of this training already, so it's like ugh, completely pointless. Late again. You do seem to have a problem. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Iron sword, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. <laughs> oh, no. Who on farm boy? Shot. She's just standing there and taking it. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be bl uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I think I'm already done the stream. I want to watch some anime uh, as well. So. Not a bad stream at all, but I uh, really enjoyed it. Lots of great games today. Uh, it was on our two, a lot of fun. I'm sure. Oh, I was just not walking. I was just like, wait, I'm not paying attention to the instructions. They're very simple. I'll meet you next block. time. Like, it's all you have to do just block, and I can't even do it. Well, all right. Now, let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you got her training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha. <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learned the most in their training. This will be a no holds barred duel, just like your final <sighs> melee test. So yeah, now we gotta beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> Despite Whisper being a supposed prod prodigy, she just sort of sits there and takes it. Like she loses to a guy who just like runs up to her and mashes that like shit. That's all wrong, Whisper. What? You need to practice but more. I, I've done that already. What? Why am I only just now getting an achievement for it? Alright, whatever. Keep training whatever. If you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. <laughs> yeah, sure, Whisper. Sure, whatever, you bitch. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training.
Yeah, I think I'm ready to stop. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, five hours of streaming. Um, yeah, a lot of fun, but a lot of this is stuff I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to stream. Uh, it's all stuff I haven't. A lot of a lot of it's stuff I haven't played Begin before. With. This honors two. I think I want to keep streaming. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, because I don't think I will stream. But make sure you stay within the circle. Alright. Yeah, I'm not even paying attention. I'm already now good. Lock onto the okay, how do I... Here we go. It's like Zelda, but lame. Uh, now, lock onto the target. Okay. Well done. You hit all the targets. Ah. Uh. Fortunately, most foes don't stand still. <sighs> Let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. Save last checkpoint? Oh, I see. So that's what happened. I saved it to the checkpoint, but I didn't actually... Well, that doesn't explain the achievement thing. Uh... Resident Evil... Five hours and I never actually played Resident Evil? What am I doing?